Hello. Hi, everybody. Wow. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing great. Uh, it's my birthday today. That's actually not true. It's my birthday tomorrow. Remember the video? It's my birthday today. Yow! Everyone told me that they reminded me. Or I reminded them of that guy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, today we are uh, doing something that I promised a very long time ago. Um, if any of you guys remember the uh, uh, the subathon that I did like three freaking years ago. Wow, Tyler with the 123 months. Happy birthday. Thank you, Tyler, for... Uh, I think what is the longest sub I've ever seen on this on this site. So thank you for sticking around. Really crazy. Um, and all the gifted subs, appreciate you guys. We're, we're going to do, we have a series of sub goals that are set up uh, for both today and tomorrow. I'm planning on streaming both days. And if we can get through them, then uh, we got some spicy stuff. I got new ones to add every 100 uh, subs if we get that far. Uh, the first one is picking... Uh, you guys are able to pick the next movie game for Movie Game Monday. Previously, it's only been the guests that can pick, but I'm going to let you guys pick any movie game, um, and I will then find a guest that will have to play it. It does not matter what it is. Uh, it's going to be, you know, we'll, we'll go through uh, recommendations and suggestions, and then we'll pull uh, a few that I pick um, from chat, and then we'll, we'll figure out what you guys want. You can either go for like a really bad one or like a really good one or, you know, just like something completely off the, uh, you know, off the wall, you know, be, be creative with it. We need to make Craig and regret this. Great. See, that's what I love to see. Um, anyway, the, the, <laughs> the content for today's stream is I'm actually going to be, first of all, showing you guys a little sneak peek for those that haven't seen it. Um, uh, a portal through time. Uh, we're going to go back 13 years, uh, I guess technically 14 years, to when I was a wee lad and I first started my YouTube channel and I wanted to make videos. And I wanted to make videos of my favorite game of all time, which was none other than Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Um, and I figured I would become a Let's Play channel because that was the, the newest thing back in the day. So it was 13, 14 years ago. Uh, Let's Plays had just begun. And I, you know, was getting on the ground floor uh, with, a, with some top-tier uh, Banjo-Kazooie gameplay. Is this the unlisted video? It is. Um, and about three years ago, I, I, I feel like it was actually three years ago, which is insane. Uh, I did my first subathon, and one of the goals of that subathon was that uh, I, you, you guys subscribed enough that I was, I promised to make a sec, another part to the Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play series. Um, even though it had been 13 years since I did that series, I decided that I would bring it back and do another one. Uh, and then three years passed and I didn't do that goal. And people, you know, rightfully so felt like, uh, like something, uh, you know, something was missing. So... Uh, I figured what better way to make good of my promise than on my birthday uh, to replay my embarrassment for all of you guys to enjoy. So today we're going to be watching a little bit of that old video and then uh, I'll be booting up Banjo-Kazooie and we're going to try to make part three to the legendary uh, Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie by the Kraken 2 channel. Um, what's more than that, I managed to find a Banjo-Kazooie randomizer mod. So not only are we going to be playing my childhood favorite game, um, but we're also going to be playing it where it's been completely randomized. Um, and so I'm going to be uh, basically trying to make a video with as much continuity as possible for a video being 13 years after the original one. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's just some of the, like the birthday fun we're up to, you know? Um, choo choo, yeah. Oh God, is that that's the hype train, huh? 
Hype Blair. Could that be the best hype train emote? Hype Blair. I don't think I've I've ever seen that one before. Hype Blair? No, I can't actually do it. Choo choo. What? I'm I'm not allowed to do my own hype train emote. What the hell? <laughs> Recorded in 1440p. Uh, I so we could either lower the quality of the uh of the game capture or I, in post we just make it worse, you know? That's the plan. Um anyway, let me uh let me boot it up. I'm also uh going to turn on my webcam, although I, I still don't have a new webcam. Um by the way, is my birthday. So, you know, if anyone wants to uh I don't know. Uh, get me a fucking nice camera. Like, you know, not be the time because <clears throat> still looks like shit. But uh, maybe I should just buy it as a business expense. That's another really good case to be made. And I don't really have a counter to that. So, you know, checkmate. Uh, where even is my webcam? Hey, but Kate Vecchiata, thank you for the gifted sub. We are about. 60 away from the first goal already. Wow. Thank you, guys. Um, okay. Well, all, uh, all stories begin somewhere. And this story uh, is beginning with a, uh, a, little, a little lad, um, you know, about, about yay high, uh, with um, similar hair to mine, uh, you know, a bit more, uh, a little bit higher voiced um, than than yours truly. Probably still, probably had a lisp back then. I probably had braces when I recorded this video, actually. Um, but I figure, why not? We'll start by watching part one, or at least parts of part one. I don't know if I want to sit through the whole thing. Fuck. Did Craig and de-age himself? I'm trying to get in the mindset of 14-year-old Kraken, you know? If if I'm going to do this justice and, like, do, like, a proper, you know, Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie series, or at least video, I need, to, I need to put myself in this, like, you know, a, like this fresh teenager mentality. I don't think I was really emo back then. I, 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 you know, probably would have been better if I was emo, you know, because then at least I was, like, leaning into something. I just kind of had long hair and was, like, moody. That was, that was kind of it, you know? I was, like, a wannabe emo. <laughs> oh, shoot. Docky, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. I really appreciate that, man. Wowee. Get excited for epic wins in XD. Look, it was a different time, man, all right? I don't know how to tell you. Look at this. February 4th, 2009. It's 13 years ago. I was 14. Ancient. Yeah. I'm turning uh, 28 in, um, man, five hours? Yeah. Like four, four and a half hours. And I'm still doing this. <laughs> Nothing has changed. My life has has been, had a tiny, tiny development whatsoever. I I look more or less the same, just a bit larger, and now uh, I'm playing Banjo Kazooie again. You know, he peaked at fourteen. You had a two year gap, yeah, pretty much. Craig, and you're a CEO, yeah, but like I'm a CEO of video game stuff. You know, I'm. I'm still doing the same thing day to day as as I as I was 14 years ago. Um Arkun, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. I am the CEO of video games, by the way. So thank you for coming to my live stream talk. Uh now let's watch uh me 14 years ago and um I'm gonna go shrink into my seat and probably never come back out. Oh, I also forgot to mention this video and all my videos from 14 years ago. Uh, for whatever reason, the capture card I was using only captured audio um, in the left ear. So um, if you're going to try to listen to this, um, just, you know, 
be aware that you're only going to hear one ear. Holy shit. Holy shit. Gooby Dooby gifting 25 subs. Mr. Meeseeks gifting 25 subs. Wait, Gooby gifted 28. I'm sorry. Even Daisy's here. Hi, Daisy. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Wow, you guys are incredibly generous. Well, we hit our first sub goal, which means I have to come up with another one. Um, luckily, I have a list, but uh, yikes. All right, hold on. Video goes on pause. Um, holy shoot. Well, now you guys get to pick uh, what it is that we stream for the next movie game Monday. Um, so you get to figure out a movie game. For those that for somehow aren't aware, every once in a while, not even every Monday, just occasional Mondays, um, we will stream a movie game with a special guest and have them commentate on it. So you guys, uh, I'm going to give you like, I don't know, maybe to like the end of this, well, we'll give you like five minutes, all right? I'll give you five minutes. Come up with like a list of different movie games, discuss amongst yourselves. We'll put uh, the ones that seem to be getting the most traction into a poll and then you guys have to decide which one it is, and then I will have to play that with someone, okay? doesn't matter what it is. If it's got DMCA music, my channel will be forfeit, and, um, you know, that's probably the best way to get rid of me if uh, if that's really your goal. So, um, you know, take, t you get all the time in the world, you got five minutes, uh, figure it out, and uh, we'll be back with the next thing, okay? Um, I'm gonna find the next sub goal to add in the meantime, which we're already, 42 subs towards, you know, so we're like 60 subs away from hitting, which is uh, really generous. So um, give me a second. What's the next goal? Well, all right, this one's a low hanging fruit, but also dangerous. Um, I should save these. Okay, and the goal. What is going on? Twitch, come on. Manage goals. Chat picks what I eat tonight. Yep, we did this once ages ago. Um, if we get another uh, fifty subs, you guys get to pick my dinner, and I'll have and I'll eat it. Last time we did this, you guys picked uh, a. Uh, a pizza, a lobster pizza. Yep, and we did that on stream, and, uh, you know, everyone was satisfied. Um, I'm not going to eat anything uh, that is inedible, you know. Eat crickets? Like, what the fuck? I'm, I, if I look on Uber Eats and I find fucking crickets, like... I no, I I don't want to I don't I don't want to do that. I veto the crickets. Jonesy man, thank you for the ten gifted subs. Um, hold on, another browser source, you dingus. Wow, is this what it looks like? <laughs> this is the browser source that Twitch gives us. Wow, cool. Thank you. That's what the goal officially exports as when you put it on OBS. It's like a, you know, first grade gold star. Daisy, thank you for gifting five subs. Oh, God. I thought this was like a simple sub like goal, but you guys seem more excited for this than you are the uh, Movie Game Monday thing. I didn't really think anything of it, but I feel like I'm going to regret that in a second. Wait, set the browser sort. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, browser, set the height to 1480 by 160, put it in there. Oh, there you go. That looks a bit better. I mean, a little bit, okay. All right. Adam and Moose, thank you for the 23 months, man. Um, okay, I think it's been five minutes. We gotta, we gotta get, uh, we gotta get some answers here on what the movie game Monday is. Shane's here, guys. Take a moment. Tomorrow, which is my birthday, is also Shane's birthday. We are birthday twins, even though we are uh, a couple of years apart. We were born on the same day, 
from the same mother. Uh, not, that part's not real either. I don't know why I delivered it that way. Uh, we are actual birthday twins. So please, all the, the, the birthday wishes you're giving to me, uh, also give to Shane. And, you know, Shane, let's... Uh, Shane actually loves Banjo Kazooie, so I I'm I feel like this is a a connection that we we're sharing here. Um, Paladin's Blade, thank you for thank you to subs too, man. <laughs> Same mom. Oh yeah, I never told you that. Yeah, no, I uh, we are definitely brothers. Um, I just you know, well, what a weird way to find out, you know. I'm excited to watch this. Oh boy. Well, uh. Speaking of watching. Hello. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Oh, man. Okay. We're just going to go a few minutes at a time, okay? So this is... Uh, this was one of my first Let's Play videos of Banjo-Kazooie. Um, and what you're going to notice uh, immediately after, like pretty pretty early in, I think, um, this was like when Let's Plays were just becoming a thing. And uh, I didn't know how the hell to make them. No one really did. Um, and so my assumption was that you would record the video and then afterwards you would commentate on it I'm stalling. You're right. I am stalling. But this is important, okay? This is, a, this is a very important piece of this. Everything you see here, I recorded first. And then afterwards, I was like, let me talk about, you know, what, we, uh, what we're doing here. And it's very obvious that I'm recording it in post. But sometimes I'm trying to react like it was live. It's very awkward. It's incredibly awkward. Um, okay, wait. You guys are picking on the movie game Monday. We have Cars Toy Story... Robots PCE, Lego Star Wars Other. Mods, you good? What, how is this gonna be helpful? What is Other? What is Other? I don't even know which mod made this. Who made this poll, bruv? The other mods are like <laughs> trying to suss out who made the poll. Um, If people really want a different game, I don't know, man. Uh-oh, Carly. Me. <laughs> okay, Lego Star Wars seems to be the winner so far. Um, Lego Star Wars does have the benefit. I think I told you guys the story before uh, that th that was the first game that I played in front of people where I cracked jokes and they were like, you're actually really funny. And to me, that was a, a formative moment, you know? So that is... That, that game actually has a close place to my heart. It's Lego Star Wars and Lego Indiana Jones were the two games that I, I first did. You won't stop telling stories about it? Shut up, okay? You know what? Fine. You just want to watch uh, young, young Kraken and laugh at me? Then go on ahead. That's what we're all here for anyway, right? Hello, YouTube. This is me, Kraken, and this is the first video that I'm commenting on, so... Hi. Um, this... First of all, I'd like to say thank you, all the people watching this, because I recently just hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm actually at 1,111 right now, which is crazy, because, I mean, that's like four ones in a row. Whoa. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically, this game, Banjo-Kazooie, was the first of its series and was basically my childhood. I love this game and I wanted to show you guys how awesome it was. So it actually just recently became available on Xbox Live Arcade and I think it's like something like 1000 something Microsoft points. I mean it's not that expensive but uh, it's a great game. Anyone out there still using Xbox Arcade? It's only a thousand points! <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, this was right after Microsoft bought Banjo-Kazooie from Nintendo, which was like the death of the franchise to many people, uh, me included, and I was kind of bummed about that, but, um, 
I don't mention that here because uh, it's a fun let's play. And let's not talk about that, you know? And I just, I saw it and I got a wave of nostalgia. And I was like, why not play it again? I love that I'm getting a wave of nostalgia when I'm 14 making videos, you know? That this is like, this is a time warp, you know? Back in the day, but the back of the day from that and then back in the day. That's when I wanted to play this. And I'll record it and put my commentary. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. So, I mean, yeah, hope you guys like it. If not, then, uh, sorry, I won't. <laughs> if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be only doing this, but it's something I felt like I need to do. So, there you go. Good cut. That was a good cut, right? Right, so uh, this is level one. I'm just gonna pretty much explore right now, kind of show off the little controls and uh, whatnot. Um, as you can see, this is his house. He has some trash cans out back and some flowers growing out of the bricks. The normal house. And uh, inside, we have a picture of Bottles, the mole, who he somehow idolizes, apparently. And a beach, and there's the little girl. I just want to I just want to come out and say uh, it's fine to have pictures of your friends in your house okay it's not called idolization I think at that age I didn't really understand that you know you don't have to be like it's fine to just do things for the sake of like you know supporting friends you know it's rude that I assume <laughs> strip its photo yeah uh, it's fine to have uh, pictures of your friends you know around doesn't mean you're idolizing them um, you know, they, they can be in, in like just staring at you at all the time when you're uh, playing games and streaming and doing your work uh, and doesn't mean you're idolizing them. OK, so let's just like, let's stop talking about that. Right. Girl that we lost. We have to go get back. Um, right. So was, I'm planning on doing a walkthrough of this entire game, hopefully. And each video will hopefully be one. Last that was a ambitious promise. I made three. Um, all right, let's see how far we get. Level, but, I mean, it's going to be hard. So we'll see how it goes. All right, now Banjo is... Oh, Lego Star Wars has won with half of the votes. So, well, okay. Um, we're going to be doing a movie game Monday where we play Lego Star Wars, and uh, I need to find a guest. And there's going to be a lot of pressure because, as I mentioned, um, Lego Star Wars was the first time that I... Uh, ever had a girl like me because I uh, I would crack jokes while playing Star War, Lego Star War, and they were like, holy smokes, this guy is funny. I, I told this story on stream before, right? We were, we were like on a, a spring break vacation and they had uh, Lego Star War at the hotel and uh, there was like a group of girls that... Uh, were my same age group and they were all watching me play Lego Star War and I was like just annotating and, and cracking jokes and they were all like laughing and and you know at one point they were like oh you, you should come back and, and play more you know we want to watch you play more and I said I mean if my parents bring me then I will because I don't have a car and I'm like 12 so it was a big deal though you know that was a formative year for me um, so now I gotta, I gotta bring the A game if I'm going to be, uh, doing this all over again. So I'm, I need to pick my guests carefully. They need to laugh at all of my jokes. Cause if they don't, I will crack in half. Um, speaking of which, let's see, watch more of this. Finding out what just happened from bottles to the mole. The short sighted mole. I'm sorry. Um, Oh, owned. Kazooie just dissed bottles. That's embarrassing. Yep. Oh, again. Will she ever stop this diss fest? <laughs> I need some alcohol. I, I, I don't know if I can make it through this whole stream. We're only two two minutes and fifty seconds into uh to this video. Lucifer, thank you for the prime sub, man.
We were all like this. Thank you, Jumps004. Finally, someone says it. We were all like this. We all use Disfest unironically in a, in a conversation. I don't know. Oh, another thing I want to point out is the uh, voice acting in this game is really top notch. That was, that's I mean, good one. Just listen to those cute little squeaks whenever they say a syllable. That's a good joke. Yo, that's wow. fucking funny. <laughs> We don't need any training, though. I mean, come on, guys. We're uh, we're we're good enough that we don't need tutorials. I mean, what? Of course, we don't need tutorials. We'll figure it out as we go. All right, uh, there he goes into his little molehill. Goodbye, bottles. Probably see you again in a minute. All right, so I'm jumping around, and oh my god, over there, it's a giant hopping carrot with eyes. <laughs> okay, he, he, okay, I'm going to talk to my, about myself in the, in the third person to make it a little bit hurt, a little bit less. Uh, he was recording this video, um, he already recorded this video and he's reacting to it. It, it's not scripted. I, I recorded all of this in, like, as watching it, but it's like this weird mix of, I already know what's going to happen, and, and so I'm waiting for it to happen so I can then make my reaction, you know? The mental disconnect. I'm just, I'm, I'm putting 14-year-old Kraken in a box. I'm patting the box, and I'm saying, that'll do, that'll do. Uh, and, you know, we've all moved on, you know? But clearly not, because I am here playing Banjo-Kazooie in order to continue the series, so I guess uh, that wasn't really the moral of the story, is it? That's, that's just, I have not seen that before. Yes, you have. You have. Don't lie to them. Giant hopping vegetable. Wow. Oh, my. They hurt you. I know they hurt you. Stop pretending like you've never played this game before. I wish I could. I wish I could say this to myself. I'm lying. I'm lying and I don't need to lie. Wait, name drop. You're right. This is the, this was the name of the first episode. Giant hopping vegetables. I must have really liked that line because I named the entire episode it. Giant hopping vegetables are bad. See? Okay, now we know. Do not. Vegetables are bad for you now. Okay. Oh, I'm falcon punching that. Yep. <laughs> I loved. I love Smash Bros, guys. I I was a huge Smash Bros fan, fan, and I played a bunch. I played a bunch of Captain Falcon. Okay. Oh, he's dead. All right. Oh, what's this? I get honey energy. Okay, so vegetables bad, honey good. Now I know. Good. I'll, just, I'll make sure it's good my commentary. Now. Oh, I can also do a barrel roll. There we go. Barrel Ooh. roll. That was also really big back yeah, then. Banjo. Going all kung fu on them vegetables. Uh, another carrot. Get ready to get destroyed. Oh well, I don't know what I did there. Kazooie peck. Oh, barrel roll. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Oh, logs. Jumping practice. I, I'm, I'm trying to put myself in the head of the people that, like, first had this appear on their, like, subscription feed. Like, they first found me from, like, a few Left 4 Dead videos. And, like, to be honest, those videos weren't much different from this. I'm also, like, using XD and, like, Ninja and, you know, I'm, like, I'm being a, a normal kid in, like, the commentary and that. But it's all text. So, like, it's more about the game and, like, you know, the commentary playing the game but this just came out of nowhere this is not the content they expected <laughs> just be like what in the hell i'm watching this child play a child game i i mean i'm 14 you know i ready go and i really again. love this game though i oh, really like wanted to show people also. how great it was here we go what's that i know it's shiny yay oh i'm an empty Honeycomb, peace. That's not what that said. Can't read. Six of us to increase your honey energy. This should be like an advertisement for a cereal or something. I feel like I'm playing in a cereal box. Okay, here we go. Platforming time. Go. Oh, number two. Over the waterfall. You can do it, Banjo. Come on. 
Yeah. That's cute. Come on. We got a honey energy again. Celebration time. And I spotted that with my awesome eye. You can see that. My awesome eye? I don't know why I said singular there. I only have I one good eye. It's true. Four lives because I picked up a golden statue of myself. That's a little bit vain, but I mean. True. Whatever. It's a game, right? Most people playing this were like six. <laughs> but not me. I'm 14. And there's the cornfield, which oh. surprisingly don't doesn't have giant corn. That would have been scary. But then again, why giant vegetables? Why not giant fruit? True. Giant honeycombs. That would make more sense. Oh, but they're your friends. Never mind. Oh, a giant cauliflower. Oh, he hurts me. Oh, who could have seen that coming? Tell him. Tell him, King. He flies. Oh, I can burst him to pieces. All right. A little bit of blood and gore for you. Blood and gore fans out there, you get to... I know that's you guys, you blood and gore fans out there. Don't pretend like it isn't. Let's see cauliflowers explode. It's a good uh, compromise, right? Well, uh, once again, I spot the hidden golden... I love how in the commentary, I, it's switching constantly between like present reaction and then like past. Once again, I spot like, you know, like past commentary. Like the, it's so weird to listen to because it's constantly shifting. I would be, I'm gonna be so confused if I was listening to this. Uh, I don't know, hexagon of honey, I guess you could say. Um, hexagon of honey. That yeah, could have been a title. Like I need two more. Maybe that's the next title for the for part three that we're gonna make, or part four, or whatever. Or one more. Wasn't really keeping track. And I see an onion in the distance, and I. Run him down. He is not going anywhere. Oh, bang. <laughs> Mr. Meeseeks, thank you for the five gifted subs. Dead. All right. Now these rocks appear to have eyes. So I'm going to kill them because so far everything with an eye is bad. Except for bottles the mole. So. True. De oh, there he goes. Okay, now I know how to do it. Boom. Double kill. Triple kill. And overkill. Oh, there we go. This man loves his halo. One more. We can do this, Banjo. One more little golden thing. <coughs> oh, baby triple. I just coughed into the mic and didn't edit that out. This is all one take, by the way. You can clearly tell. That there was no like edits of... I was just watching this footage. Maybe it's up here. In that... Oh, there's another giant flying cauliflower. I'll hide in this hole. He'll never suspect me. Ninja! There it is. There it is. Kill. Woo! Oh, yeah, what's that? What's that? Oh, another golden honey piece. I feel so healthy. Alright, Banjo, let's go. Let's go kill that witch. Get back your little... 2D sister and do whatever you're gonna do with her. I, I'm climbing up this mountain. There's no subtext there. I'm 14. I don't know what I'm talking about. Which is conveniently shaped like a spiral for dramatic effect. They should call it Spiral Mountain. That's a joke to anyone that knows because it is called Spiral Mountain. Anyone out there get that? That was a good one. I'm so clever. Oh, here we go, Bottles again. He wants us to uh, so clever. be prepared for the witch, which we see in the uh, background. In vain. Oh, I have to go talk to him again. Alright. Well, here we go. Into the lair. I lore walk back then, too. Whoa. The music just got a lot creepier and sadder. I want to go back. Hey, happy music. Yeah. I like this one better. But this one. Ooh. Happy music. Sad music. Happy music. Sad music. Happy music. Sad music. Happy music. Sad music. See, you can see that I'm very easily amused.
That didn't change. It's just one of my many traits. Alright, so this is the end of part one. Um, I'm about to leave the Happy Vestible Land and enter the Evil Witch's Lair. Please comment on below to tell me if you like this series or if you hate it. Just, I want to know your reaction, so thanks. And there you have it. Part one. Please comment on below. Um, I assume I'm talking about the video game Below, um, which came out, I think, a couple years ago. Uh, what do you guys think about that? You played Conquers by Bad Fur Day? I did. Only when I was much older. You know? Show comments. I'd really rather not. I don't think they were very nice. I, I developed pretty thick skin um, at that age because... Uh, well, imagine being on the internet when you were 14 and, uh, you know, constantly, uh, uploading to get reactions from people, right? Pretty raw. Show it raw? What the hell does that mean? Yeah, people are mean. Yeah. Sorry, dude. It's okay. I mean, look, it's, it's part of the job and it kind of made me who I am today. So I don't regret anything. Even this, even this cringy. Uh, little video. Look at that. I regret nothing. Comments are disabled. Yeah. <laughs> Not surprised. Anyway, so that's part one. We'll watch more parts later on if you guys are good. In the meantime, we're going to try to catch up to where we just were in, uh, in our own version of the game. Okay. Rexicopter gifted five more subs. I think that brought us to our sub goal. It did. Holy moly. 2,600. Thank you, Rexicopter. Now you guys get to pick dinner. Just in time, too. I want to order dinner. What should we make it? I vote a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Does Chuck E. Cheese deliver? Cricket pizza. You, you guys realize this is like, you have to order actual things that I can order. You can't just make up a combination of things that don't exist. Raw herring ice cream. Yeah, see, I don't think you guys understand the assignment. Um, salty salami. Big shrimp burrito. <laughs> a big shrimp burrito? <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Chuck E. Cheese, pe all right, I'm going to look at if Chuck E. Cheese is a thing that delivers. Here's Chuck E.'s Chicken and Waffles. Oh, God, no, they do deliver. <laughs> Fuck. I could actually order Chuck E. Cheese. That sounds so bad. Hmm. All right. Uh, the the items on Chuck E. Cheese's uh, order is large pizza, medium pizza, personal pizza, cotton candy, um, supreme pizza, cheesy bread, corn dog, French fries, regular wings. Garden salad. They, they, they have a salad. Unicorn churros. Giant warm cookie. <laughs> okay. Um, side of ranch. Side of blue cheese. Side of buffalo sauce. Um, you are getting one of everything, right? Blood Vendor, wow. Uh, with 25,000 channel uh, bits. Get as much as you can on the menu. This man really just said he'll have one of everything. <laughs> Ugh, fuck, you're kidding me, really? What are they going to think the delivery person when they deliver to, like, this, this, 
like a 28 eight year old dude living alone just like fucking at the door yeah thanks <laughs> he fucking takes it um it's for my kid play party sounds in the background you want me to like go into my living room and play party like ambient this is getting really dark guys i, I don't know if you you know what you're asking you want me to freak out the delivery driver by putting on ambient party sounds in the living room and answer the door like clearly alone and get like a, a party's worth of pizza that I eat alone at like 9 p.m. on a on a Friday. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Um, so I guess I'm I'm supposed to be getting one of everything. I ugh. All right. Um, <laughs> I went to look at the uh, the wings, and it says frequently bought together. And the first thing is cotton candy. <laughs> Why are people getting cotton candy and wings, man? Ugh. Fuck. All right, cheesy bread. I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm getting a pizza. Oh, and here's the toppings part. What do you guys want uh, to put on the toppings? I'm, I'm sorry, crickets is not an option. You cannot put crickets on this pizza, guys. I do appreciate the enthusiasm for crickets for some reason, but we can't uh, can't do that. Anchovies, you're saying? Um, nope, they don't do anchovies. I'll, t I'll, I'll read you the list. They got bacon bits, beef, black olives, chicken, extra cheese, extra sauce, fresh, fresh spinach, green peppers, ham, jalapenos, light sauce, mushrooms, pepperoni, pineapple, sausage, tomatoes. All the toppings. Every topping is an additional three bucks. Are you kidding me? Black olives cost three bucks? This is... <laughs> it says the pizza is 90 calories on its own. That can't be true. <laughs> what? How is the pizza just 90 calories? I am having a breakdown, man. I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese, I think, like, since I was, like, 11. Okay, I'm going to put... Yeah, okay. Uh... You guys, you're buying. Um, I'll fucking put everything on it. It's now a $30 pizza, and I'm halfway through. This this is actually the worst. This is just a horrible idea. My God. Um, it's your birthday. All right, I'll write in the notes of the delivery, it's my birthday. Uh, snake. thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, all right, I'm just going to put a few. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to put all of them. <laughs> I really don't want to spend $60 on this tiny pizza. but it is $30 now. Um, this is already really kind of cursed. Um, yep, we'll get french fries, sure. 
You guys wanted a little bit of everything? <sighs> Giant worm cookie or cotton candy? Both. Okay, well, then I'm taking some shit off the pizza, man, because they're, like, they're not going to know what to do. This is all going on a personal size pizza. It's not going to fit. Make it familiar? <laughs> what does that comment mean? Make it familiar? What the fuck? Do, what are you talking about? You just want to see what happens. Okay. Well, uh, what's a little bit of waste, you know? It is a $73 order from Chuck E. Cheese. Please don't make me do this. The pizza is $31. This is so unhinged. Okay. Um, Dribble Sniffer, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Fuck it. I'm getting okay. I'm getting rid of the French fries. That's boring. Um, we have cheesy bread, wings, personal pizza. That's thirty dollars. A cotton candy and a giant warm cookie. Now it's sixty nine dollar uh, order. Okay. Um, where are the unicorn churros? You're really going to make me get the unicorn churro? I don't know what a unicorn churro is. I think it's just a churro with food color on it. All right. Um, I'll throw in the unicorn churros. This is what they look like. You cannot see that. It's like a pickle. I, I keep looking at this pizza and wondering if there's another way. It is $30 from all of the additional toppings. One of the toppings just says beef. And I, I don't know in what form this beef is arriving. Because I do, there's a lot of different ways to prepare beef. It just says beef. Okay, I'm changing it from leave at door to meet at door. <laughs> None pizza left beef. I should put that in the notes. <laughs> None pizza left beef. Okay, all right. You, you have to make up your mind now. Am I, am I putting everything on this pizza or am I making this the saddest pizza with barely anything on it? You, you got to make up your mind. Because I can't do both. Everything. Okay. People seem to want everything. Okay. Uh, $82 now. The churros added 
a bunch. It's now an $82 dinner. Uh, that will probably kill me. Um, luckily, the pizza says it's only 60 calories or 90 calories, so maybe it won't be so bad. All right, I'm going to give him a big tip. He, I mean, he deserves it for what I'm about to put him through. Uh, I forgot to even get a drink, but I have bottles of wine here, so I have a feeling that's what I'm going to be drinking. Um, <laughs> wine and a giant Chuck E. Cheese pizza. That's how I want to go into my 28th birthday. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What a life. Okay. Um, this is beyond fucked up. Yeah, you're telling me, man. Lars Honey Toast, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Very generous of you. This is your supper, so don't get something you won't enjoy. Man, I appreciate the sentiment. I think we're far too gone for that at this point. There are many awesome places to order from in this city, and I picked Chuck E. Cheese. Did I just knock my camera? Huh. I'm 14 again. <laughs> You're taller than me. Okay. Well, let's take a break from uh, watching that. And in the next hour and 10 minutes that it will take to get my pizza. I think this Chuck E. Cheese is like really far from me. It's going to be cold. Oh. Cold, overstuffed personal pizza. Giant cold cookie. <laughs> yeah, the giant warm cookie is just going to be a giant cold cookie. What am I going to do? All right. Let's play some video game, okay? Yeah, just microwave it. It's that easy, man. Oh. I can't believe this is this is a blast. Wait, I need to make another sub goal. Um, all right, you know what? This one's a two-parter. Part one. Uncork a bottle for winekin. The drinking starts at seventeen hundred, and I will finish that bottle of wine. Okay. Rocking end. Thank you for the nineteen months, man. Yeah, I'll finish the bottle of wine with the cold pizza, the cotton candy, and the cold giant cookie. And the cold garlic bread and the cold uh, wings and the cold rainbow churros. I am going to puke. I, I haven't puked in a while um, from like drinking or anything like that. And I think I'm going to manage to do it on my birthday. How fun is that, right? Microwave, asks G Mark. I, you want me to. You think my microwave is going to fit the giant cookie? There's no way in hell.
warm wine? I'm not gonna microwave the wine! <laughs> okay. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I don't know why I read your name like that. I'm not- I haven't even tricked anything yet. <laughs> yeah, mold wine is a thing. Don't forget to do your classic YouTube intro for part four. Oh yeah, okay. I also set up a system so I can record myself uh, playing this game without... Uh, and then, okay, so here's how this is going to work. Um, once we get to where we left off on part three, which we'll get to soon, it's basically right after Mumbo's Mountain, which is the first level. Uh, when we get to there, I'm going to turn off my webcam, I'm going to turn off the alerts, and I'm going to record on OBS. I can still talk to you guys like normal, but it will give me a, uh, a video file without my commentary. I'm then going to take that video file and put it in Premiere, and then we're going to do a voiceover of, on that video file just like I did 13 years ago, and that's going to be part four of this series, okay? So this is all the making of, and then we're going to actually make it uh, together. And I'll try to do my best to do a live reaction to commentary. Uh, toaster Mike prepped. Um, I hadn't thought it that far. I, I was going to use a good microphone. But if you want, I can I could probably set it to the webcam. We can make it um, a webcam one. In one go, no cuts. Yeah. All, of, all the commentary is going to be in one go. All right, I can do webcam, and we're also going to put all the audio on the left side of the ear uh, so that there's no stereo. No way. Oh, man. It showed me my driver for uh, the delivery, and he looks so nice, and I, I, I'm already worried <laughs> when he arrives. Okay. Uh until then, let's uh, let's see how this goes, okay? The worst part is I'm actually really hungry. So I'm probably going to eat a fair amount of whatever arrives. Milo Solaire, thank you for that five gift subs. I love this intro. Did you wear a party hat while receiving the delivery? <laughs> I don't think I own a party hat. Um, I have a lot of hats though. I'm trying to think. Oh, this is also randomized. So as you can see, Wait, I think he, the AI got broken, yeah, because he got hit. So in the intro, he's pre-programmed to have certain reactions. And he's been thrown off because the enemy was different. That's This is fascinating. He doesn't know where he is. Let's see what the next... Yeah, those are different enemies, obviously. He got hit. All right, he's been thrown off of his uh, his course. Let's see what he does. I think he's just gonna do this for the rest of it. This is so weird. Wait, he made it. Okay. I think he's about to drown. Okay, so far it's normal. There's a crab over there. This one might be normal. Hmm. Okay. 
last one. Sorry, I actually didn't know that the intro was pre-scripted like this. Was he? Oh no, he's getting eaten by bees! Oh no. Is he gonna game over? I think he has infinite lives. You guys want to see this story intro or pick up once we get in the game? Hi, Uick. You should fill us in. Intro, I need the lore. Okay. All right. for the two years now. <laughs> ding pot, ding pot by the bench. Who's a nice looking wench? Did she really just say that? Why, it's grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. I look stand me out from the crowd. E.K. Deba, thank you for the 18 months. Er, but there is this girl. <gasps> what do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie. She's cute. And kind. Well, we'll see about that. Damn, it didn't even rhyme. She was just mad. This story is so fucked up. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Oh, Banjo. Wake up. I want to go on an adventure, too. Uh-oh. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. Is that your brother? Oh, come on, Bottles. Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? I mean, she's, her face is carved into the mountain. Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. <gasps> Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody. Help. Banjo, wake up. Now. Yo, this game is fucking funny. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. I like that. I like my fellow. It's a real diss fest out there. All right. Uh, welcome to my Banjo Kazooie Let's Play series. We're going to play through the whole game, I'm sure. 
uh, starting now. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this, here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Wait, this is them meet, meeting for the first time? Don't they all live next to each other? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? Get freaking dissed, bro. She flew up to the, her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so they'll probably need some training before you go up there. You'll need 492 notes to pass the final note door. Press A for lessons, or press B to skip my notes. Haha. Uh -huh. You bet we're good enough to bottle brain. Hmm. Very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. All right. I wonder if we're gonna see a giant walking vegetable. What was that? That wasn't a giant mocking vegetable. Ice. Ow. Oh my god, this is actually a really hard enemy for the first area. I'm sticky tasty, honey energy. Out of my way, bug brain. Oh yeah, this game can get kind of gruesome for you gore lovers out there. When you hit them, they actually explode most of the time. The honey you eat is sentient. Yes, everything in this game is sentient. There's a bull. That bull's unkillable, by the way. You'll, you'll discover that in the later part of our, our series. Wait, that's normal. Hey. I have an extra honeycomb base. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Do the classic funny Kraken scream? Mm, no. <laughs> that comes in a later episode, Shane, alright? No spoilers. Schnee Witch Witchin. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I'm really not looking forward to getting my food. So, you're ready to tackle the witch now. You sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Here we go. Scary music. Funny music. Sad, scary music. <laughs> Just like the video. Some jokes never get old, man.
This fine contraption of toll will make me young and duty old. Let me go, you fat hag. I, my brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on, so we'll be ready. Dude, Kl Klungo's the freaking best. Underrated character. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Alright, I think this first one is not randomized, but the other items are. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Wait, did I say Krungo? I meant to say Klungo. Wait, do you think Krungo's based off Klungo? They do look super similar, actually. Oh my god. We can't get into Mumbo's Mountain because of that bull outside! Oh! I'm gonna edit that so that looks cool. <laughs> oh, there's that piece that was missing. Remember? Just like the Jiggy said. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great. To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces... Oh boy. Rubus, Rubus Sapien, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. How many... Oh boy, we're like, what? 17 for me popping the bottle? Uh, that's it, the picture is complete! The picture is complete, the door is... The Momos Mountain is... It's uh, open! Sorry. I don't know why I couldn't read the rest of that. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. All right, let's see. Wait, that guy's supposed to be here. Mr. Meeseeks, look at me gifting 25 subs. Wow. Wow, we. Well, we definitely hit it. I guess I gotta go get a bottle of wine now. Looking at the order. Okay, the uh, delivery guy is waiting outside of the Chuck E. Cheese right now. He's been waiting there, I think, for like seven minutes. I think they don't know what to do with the order. Also, why is the Chuck E. Cheese open at 9 p.m.? <laughs> How late do those things stay open? Aren't kids in bed by now? It's a Saturday? Wait, is it? I thought it was Friday. Oh shit, you're right, it is Saturday. Yeah, what do people do? Does Chuck E. Cheese... Does Chuck E. Cheese... Alright, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go open a bottle of wine. You guys go fucking watch uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Um, is today actually your birthday? Uh, at midnight it will be. My birthday is Sunday. Alright. Here we go. I'll be right back. Guys, options. Uh, do you want red wine, white wine, or rosé? I could drink. I could drink rosé with my Chuck E. Cheese. That's an option. Have all three. Rosé.
microwave the wine. No. Alright, here's the rosé. Very classy. Right out of the bottle like a real adult. Um, <clears throat> Where's the glass? Chuck E. Cheese. I feel like I'm going to be drinking out of the bottle. Okay, hold on. Uh, new goal time. I, I mentioned this was a uh, two-parter, so the second part is... Um... At... The next hundred uh, sub goal, Kraken will become Kronovan. And if we manage to get this before my food arrives in about 30 minutes, honestly, it might be longer at this point. The guy is still waiting. I feel really bad for him. Uh, I will have to answer the door with my eyeliner on um, as Kronovan. And uh, don't worry, I'm tipping him a lot. So, yeah. With the wine, just holding the wine with eyeliner. And I'll say, it's my birthday today. <laughs> uh, you may call the cops. What? He's going to call the cops on me celebrating my birthday with just a bit of Chuck E. Cheese and wine and rosé, you know? What, who hasn't had a, a nice a nice, uh, <laughs> a nice, nice birthday with some Chuck E. Cheese and rosé? Don't forget to play the party ambience. <sighs> God. All right, what, what do we miss? Someone died. It's gonna be me in like an hour. Is that... Are there flowers on the bridge? Is that random? Uh. Mummy! Wait, I think if we knock the mummy in the water, he may disintegrate. Uh. Uh. He doesn't go in the water. Shoot. If these are flowers, you can't pick them up. Where's the oil baron when you need him? Mr. Music, thanks for the gifted sub again. I don't know what the ant's doing there. Ooh, he's going everywhere. Oh, cheese. Thank you for 10 gifted subs. Oh, cheese. Wow. You guys really, uh, want this to happen, huh? Trying to think what like 14 year old Kraken would say during all this, but I know it already exists. I can't one up that commentary. I need to get that monkey a orange. Ninja! Wait, I don't know why. Pancake Lube, thank you for the five gifted subs. You said it, this catchphrase. Yeah, for those that didn't know, back when I was doing Left 4 Dead videos, I would uh, 
like I guess jump in a circle and then I would I would put ninja on the screen and everyone loved that those were the best bits that was a recurring a recurring bit so I tried saying it in this playthrough and it uh, had just the same effect everyone loved it oh come on man Sergey's still waiting. I'm, I look sad because he his profile picture is super happy. He looks like really just kind of like a like a chill dude. Not anymore. He ruined his year. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Raukafir gifting 50 subs. Pushing us into Cronovan levels. No fucking way. You guys are being incredibly generous today. Thank you so much. Wow, did not expect to hit that so soon. Um. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go have to get- go grab my eyeliner, I guess. Mmm. Alright, I'm also gonna have to put in contact lenses now, because you can't really see it with glasses on. And the wig! Alright, this is gonna take me a minute though, so, you know, you might have to sit tight. No! Sergey left the order! This might not happen, guys. He waited there, I mean, to his credit, he waited there for like 15 minutes. It still says preparing your order, wrapping up. If it doesn't happen, we'll find another place to order from, okay? He can be replaced. All right, I'm just gonna leave you guys staring at Banjo. Again, uh, I didn't realize I was gonna be doing all this so fast. Um, man, I need another, like, sub goal or something. How about... Chat picks... Riken has to be Edward in a new game. All right, here's how I, I'm going to word it. Chat gets an Edward card to force on stream on one. Okay, that seems confusing, but the idea is chat has, you you now have the power, if you hit this goal, to pick a stream and use your Edward card, and then I have to be Edward for that stream. Do we... No, you don't each get a card. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm editing it. It's confusing. I agree. Bad goal. Goal's over. Um...
Let's uh, shoot. All right, I'm going to table that one for now. We'll come back to it. I'll I'm going to figure out a better way to word it. Uh, the next one, I haven't done a... I haven't done a horror VR stream. I've done one, ever. So if we hit uh, at the next 100, we'll do a horror VR stream with jump scare sub alerts. As you guys know, I can play any sub sound we want for any like uh, subscription or, or donation or something. We're going to make a whole uh, list of horror sound effects and whatever it might be. And um, I'll have to play in VR a horror game with those in my ear and in my face. So I'm gonna go put on my eyeliner now. Um, all right, new delivery person, Andrea. Good luck, Andrea, I will be right back. Enjoy your final birthday. Thank you so much, Joe, that's so sweet and I'm not gonna comment on what you said because I know that's bait and you want me to. Cheers. Everyone, for my birthday, I want you to point at Joe Fudge, laugh, and say one nice thing about him. This bus says before you go. Okay, what is this bus? Don't open your mailbox. Okay. You got it.
Is that better? Uh, it's time for some Cronovan. Yeah, I've put in some eyeliner. What of it? Just a normal Saturday night for me, staying at home. Got that right, Conga. Constance Lee Nutting. <laughs> Epic name. Thanks for the five gifted subs. <laughs> oh, wrong move. It's, you know, just as normal Saturday, staying at home, ordering cotton candy, rainbow churros. <laughs> And a giant warm cookie. Which I don't think will be warm anymore. After an hour and a half. Yep. Now Andrea is waiting in the Chuck E. Cheese parking lot. And they... Don't have it. I don't know how to ground pound. Epic fail. Don't you use those words with me. I invented the epic fail. Consider your biggest epic fail so far in life. That's a hard one. I feel like I'm close. I'm approaching it still. I feel like I'm actively running from it. Like it's right behind me every day. You know? Ever teetering on the edge, that's right. I'm in a waking try not to cringe compilation. That's my truth. Is this an enemy? I think he tried to talk to me. Oh no! Rip, am I right? Hey, because of the gravestone on the screen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> I'm going to message Andrea, hold on. Are they still open? I'm not gonna call her babe. You, guys, that's fucking harassment. Chill out, guys. I'm literally just want to know if I'm getting my Chuck E. Cheese, okay? your birthday. No, I'm not putting you guys in charge of all of my social interactions. If anything I do involves another human being, I will ha I will have the final say, okay? I realize now after saying that you are having me invite the driver up to my door so they can hear the party music in the background and I'm wearing eyeliner. So I guess my like line in the sand isn't as much of a line as it is like a blur but I am gonna stop at calling you know random strangers names okay
I don't... Oh, okay. I, I did it anyway. Wait, are you guys doing a prediction? Will Andrea bring the pizza? Wait. Okay. Plot development. I said, are they still open? Andrea said, yes. With three S's. What do you, what does that mean? Yes means notters. Why didn't you just say so, bro? I was wait. Why, why am I doing Kronovan like a fucking chop? Yo, bro. True. Yes is just another word for notters. Give Andrea a rainbow churro. I'll let her know. You can have one of my rainbow churros. Thank you so much for the delivery. Is this the voice I'm doing when I pick it up? Yo, thanks so much for dropping off the Chuck E. Cheese, bro. I have been dying for some. By the way, turn in 28 in 30 minutes. Here, take a rainbow churro for the road. I think I forgot to bind. I mean, <clears throat> I think my Nintendo controller is missing a couple of buttons. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. No, I totally got them all. You really want the entire conversation to be, it's my birthday, and then you close the door. <laughs> hey, did you know today's my birthday? Hey, thanks so much for the delivery. Have a great night. I'm a big birthday boy today. And then I slam the door. <laughs> today is my big 2-8. 28. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> Today's my birthday eve, so I thought I'd do it up with a bit of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> this bit is going on. Ask her to guess your age, but get offended if she guesses anything but 28. Hey, how old do you think I am? I'll give you a hint. My birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> Why can't I... Guys, how do you uh, talent trot? I don't remember. Where's bottles? Wait, why am I up here now? Did I cheat? Oh yeah, doors are randomized. I forgot to mention that. Um, which means I think the door to Mumbo's Mountain might not be Mumbo. Watch, if I exit the termite hill, termite hill. Oh. Yeah, we're okay. Hey Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. 
Oh shit, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo, not good enough. <laughs> Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. I like Mumbo, dude. I don't know why I'm still talking like fake Kronovan. I want to wipe off the eyeliner before you get to the door? No, that's the whole point. I, I'm, hap I'm wearing it uh, to be impressive. Okay, Andrea. <gasps> Andrea's got the food, guys. It's happening. Oh my god. I didn't realize this, but... Um, this place is like an hour away. <laughs> I ordered from a Chuck E. Cheese that's on the other side of LA. <laughs> um, I would hate me if I dr drove an hour with cold Chuck E. Cheese in the back. The delivered to this. He's like, so my birthday Chuck E. Cheese is here. Pound it, Andrea. Okay, have a great night. By the way, how old do you think I am? It's gonna be like 17. And I'll be like, no. Oh. Dip her in bits? Bro, do you have a Twitch account? Are you partnered? Or I like affiliate would work too. If you're affiliate, I can give you bits. If you give a good delivery, I'm only gonna drop you like a thousand bits, Andrea. No joke. But you will have to subscribe to me. <laughs> Did I mention it's my birthday? <laughs> Gosh, and child, thank you for the 15 months. New character Bronovan. I like this. Can we can we christen this a new character? Bronovan. Ronovan the like health goth. Isn't that like a like a trope? Wow. I was here. Miracle of birth. Shout out to that chat viewer that came up with that name. LA Goth, yeah. LA Donovan. What? <laughs> Who's Donovan? You guys are just messing up the name now. Donovan's also a good name though. Where'd that bug go? <gasps> He's drowning! All right, this is what I would do if I was 14. Oh my god, that bug fell to the bottom of the lake. Aren't bugs supposed to swim though? Guess he's a heavy bug. <laughs> Yo, that kid is fucking funny. <laughs> Thank you, Devil Jojo. I can always count on you as a cheerleader. That's a bug's life, damn it. Oh, the joke was right there. No, it's all right. I wouldn't have figured that out as a kid either. Right. I think I have to find, like, bottles to teach me certain moves. Right now, I don't have the ones I need to do certain things. 
if this is making sense to any of you guys, but I am trying to complete this level. We have to beat this level so that we can record the next level so I can make a video. He said the line? Wait, is, is Ikumbokum a meme? It's a VTuber meme? Really? I didn't- I- I'm genuinely unaware of this. What the fuck is that? Is that a seashell? Speaking of VTubers, where's Bramble? I actually have a plan to bring Bramble back, but, um... I'm waiting on a certain, uh... Udge... Foe. Udge... Udge... Udge foe. Joe... Joe Fudge. Uh, Joe Fudge, waiting on him to, uh, you know... Maybe something related to him before, uh... I have a history of um, starting a lot of projects and then finishing them 13 years later. So, you know, as this is a uh, proof of. Wait, this bowl is normal bowl. God, my food's gonna be so cold when it gets here. Can you teach me? Talent Trot! That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the C button. Oh, thanks, buddy. Ask Andrea to put the food in the seat warmer to keep your food warm. Dude, she's gonna think I'm a psycho. <laughs> Drives an hour away to Chuck E. Cheese, gets a text. Is it still open? Gets another text. Put it in the seat warmer to keep it warm. <laughs> Take that. More will just sweat. Oh, yeah, I know. Tell her it's my birthday. <laughs> She's like already on the road. This is like you're driving, you know, driving in LA sucks anyway. You're like, you know, changing lanes around the highway. You'll see like an alert. It's my birthday. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck around with this random delivery person that's already doing me a huge favor.
Sound like a camel. Bear beat Conga, me give prize to bear. I'm doing a big tip, don't worry. Andrea can get her own mega Chuck E. Cheese order if she wants after this, okay? Try to climb to the top. Um, I don't know what enemy is going to be in the middle. Shoot. Why did I slip? What? You guys really all going to eat them every time he says he eat them like, if I knew the reference it's from, then, like, great. But I, I find it hard to believe that all of chat is, like, way, like, deep in indoctrinated into, like, VTuber lore and meta. If it's just a meme from this game, I know it. I was recording that dude I could easily make a clip out of that thank you 8-bit zig for the five gifted subs it's your boy Bronovan coming at you live maybe I should make a sub goal where I pump some iron hey if we get another hundred subs I'll do one rep <laughs> darn hyena Thank you for the gifted sub as well. We Juju, Umbo's totem pole, feed us with nice blue stones. Me six. Thank you for another five to get the subs. All right, we're 30 minutes out from uh, Chuck E. Cheese time. Where do they go? <laughs> what an odd but genuine question to see. Where where do the totem poles go? <laughs> hey, hey guys, where did the totem pole go? All right, I think that's enough. Are you guys ready to eat them? Uh, Anjo has plenty of tokens. Press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Now we're bug. Termite bit small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo practice needed. I I love this part of the game. Like my 14 year old is gonna come out a bit now, but I I love that each level you collect these tokens and then get turned into like a character from that level. What a great concept. Hey. 
Now that I think about it though, I didn't need to be the termite. There's nothing here that requires it. Because we already got the stuff that's in the termite hill. Now I'm just a bug for no reason. Oh wait, maybe I can go underwater now? this game better than I do. How, what, what else do we have left in this level? Oh, we, we need one more Jinjo. Okay, one more Jinjo and we can probably move on to the next level. The next level is when we're recording the continuation of the series, so I hope you're ready. Only difference to Kraken then versus Kraken now is access to a credit card. You say that, but actually I opened a credit card when I was 14 because my parents were like, you're making money off of YouTube, you should have a credit card. So, wrong. <laughs> I'm now better at applying eyeliner. I mean, barely. I basically put it around the eye and then I smudge it like a raccoon. That's my secret. That's my tutorial on how to do the classic crown of and smoky eye. So, you know, thanks for listening. I think the last Jinjo might be in the termite tower, so we we'll go there. been a lot of fun so far though guys thanks for, for coming to my probably the weirdest birthday I've ever had but you know I'm not really against it I know with all the games coming out and like all this stuff we've been doing there hasn't been a lot of time for us to just kind of like goof off and do something weird so I, I like tonight for that Thank you for the two years, man. I want more stories from when I was uh, 14 and just starting on, on YouTube. There's a few. There's a few weird things. get 82 notes, right? Banjo and Conqueror are in my top five games. Yeah. Banjo-Tooie is my favorite, actually, but banjo Kazooie's is the, the OG for most people, so. I'm done being a uh, cockroach, please. Thank you. I think I've had enough cringe. Oh my god. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, You've had enough cringe when I've said you've had enough cringe. When I... let's see. That's a good cringy story. When I was in... Uh, I want to say second grade? I was really big into Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as a lot of people were. Um, 
I feel like you, some of you definitely did this too. Did anyone make their own Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Where you like would print out a big piece of paper and you draw all of the, uh, you draw all around it. And then you'd like make the different, you know, stats for it. You do like an image, you cut it out. I went as far as to laminate them and I made my own deck. And I wanted, I like tried to design them in a way that you could play them with actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And then like, I'd be like playing against my friends and I'd be like, ha! And I'd like play my own Yu-Gi-Oh card. And he's like, you can't use that. That's not a real card. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> and we had like a fight about it. It was great. I mean, I don't think we even really knew how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We just used it as an excuse for the, like, you know, we, we had those, uh, those little, like, plastic, like, arm thingy, right, where you'd, like, slot the cards in. So whenever we, like, got a card, we'd, like, spin and do whatever and then, like, play it in a really dramatic way. Yeah, the dual disc. You see the same shit with Bakugan? I'm sorry, I do not know what that is. What is Bakugan? Get used to it, Nest Girl, you'll be using it a lot. Oh my god. Bakugan is metal balls? What is that? Are there like monsters in little balls? God, he's so emo? What do you mean, dude? I'm emo for not having played Bakugan? Does that mean all the jocks in your school in the locker room are playing Bakugan? <laughs> what a cool image. Bro! Bro! Good play with your Bakugan! I don't know anything about the game still. That play was a very inspired one, bro. When you played your Bakugan in the way that you just did, it was clear you knew what you were doing. All right, so we just saved that Jinjo, but he was in a house. Is he hostage, or do you think uh, we killed his house? We roll little balls onto cards, and they pop into creatures. They were so f lit. Okay, great. Is that like Beyblades? Pretty sure like Beyblades were a thing in uh, my school until like a kid got like cut on one when it was spinning and then they got banned. Oh, another story. Um, also Yu-Gi-Oh related. In my second grade class, uh, there was one kid who was like known as like the rich kid, right? Like he came from like a rich family, had like a really fancy house. Uh, and he would talk about being rich a lot, I guess, because that's like part of the personality of the kid. Um, and I, I was like at lunch or something, and I hadn't eaten like my candy yet or something. And the kid was at my table and he was like, hey, can I have your candy? And I'm like, well, I'm gonna eat it. And he's, and I'm like, what do you want for it? And he's like, uh, I'll give you Exodia. And I'm like, Bleh? and I was like, Exodia, the forbidden one? And he's like, yeah, I'll give you an Exodia. And I'm like, no way you have an Exodia. And he's like, I'll give you two Exodias tomorrow morning. I swear my mom's life. And I'm like, like starting to sweat. I'm like, yeah, okay. I give him my candy. I go home. I can't sleep. All I can think about is two Exodia th Forbidden Ones waiting for me tomorrow. The last thing we said, we were, we were leaving, our moms were picking us up. He said, I'll leave them in your cubby in the morning. Because we had cubbies, by the way. Cubbies are where you put your backpack and all the stuff 
you know, when you're on your way to school. So, I wake up. I go to school. My parents take me to school. I go to my cubby. Nothing's there. I feel emotion starting to well up. I check lower, and I notice there's something weird tucked into the side of my cubby where, like, my shoes go. And I pull it out. And it's two Japanese exodias. I say Japanese because I didn't recognize the language. It was not English. But I had them. And anyone that knows Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be like, yep, that's Exodia. I don't think there were any of the other pieces of Exodia. It was just like the head. But I was like, this counts. If I draw this card, I win. And so then I went on to play with my friends that played Yu-Gi-Oh. And whenever they played in my deck, we would just play until I got an Exodia. And then I'm like, ah, I win. And they're like, ah, we lose again. And <laughs> that was like my entire Yu-Gi-Oh experience. Ugh. So happy you didn't get scammed. Yeah, my trust was uh, maintained for a few more years. Okay, I need five more notes. What ruined it? Well, that's a that's an actual trauma <laughs> we won't go into. I also had a, uh, well, uh, the, uh, the whole Santa, you know, conversation. We're not going to get into the theories of whether or not Santa's actually given presents and whatnot, but um, let's just say uh, my parents uh, shared with me their interpretation of Santa um, a few years before I think I was due to receive that knowledge. And that definitely, uh, that left a, that left a blow. They said, this was actually the same year as Exodia and Yu-Gi-Oh! All, this was all the same year. And they, they told me they were positive someone in my class was going to break the news to me. So they wanted to be the first. And I was like, they already tried and I told them they were wrong. And they were like, oh fuck. <laughs> and then I was, that was it. Like, it was too late, you know? Cracking the zealous. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a zealous kid. I need three more notes. And then we can finally make the next part of the series after 13 years. I see why you play a cultist in D&D. Uh, are you talking about Copernicus? Because Copernicus is the exact opposite of a cultist. He hates cultists. Andrea? Andrea is 20 minutes away. Which just gives you a concept of how fucking far this Chuck E. Cheese was. <laughs> Stop farting. I, I remember I was so embarrassed when, as a kid every time I pressed that button by accident and Kazooie would fart and like poop out a, an egg, I was like, this is so inappropriate. I remember thinking that, I was like, I, this is so inappropriate. I hope my parents don't listen. Raviton Flux, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, buddy. Every kid laughed at fart jokes? I didn't. I never laughed at fart jokes as a kid. I was against them. I thought it was immature, even at like 10 years old. Someone farted and everyone like, <laughs> like laughing in class and I was just, I was like, he needs to poop. Let him go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is abuse. Let him leave. Stop! Sorry, I, I did it by accident. 
Did I miss Chuck E. Cheese? No. I got another 20 minutes, let's hear. How far are we in relation to the part two video? Okay, as soon as I leave this level, we'll play the part two video. Fuck! I'm, I'm genuinely not trying to fart. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. So I guess you don't like Uh-Oh Stinky Monkey? No, I actually do like Uh-Oh Stinky Monkey because I think it's like the perfect satire. I guess I'll never find those last, uh... Oh, there's one. Wait, what? It was always there? Oh, last one! We found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Well? Pause, and I'm going to pull up part two of my series since I was a child, and we'll get to go through that all over again. So, um, hope you guys are ready. If you just saw what it's like for a 27 and almost 28 year old to play that level, now let's see what it's like when they're a child. Hello everybody, it's me, Kraken, again, and we go back to Banjo-Kazooie for my second video in the walkthrough that I am doing, and uh, here we see the plot continue. We have um, Grunty the Witch in a little machine with her shuffling green monkey friend, Monkey, as they are... At, uh, sucking the beauty out of the bear. 2D. Seems strange for a plot, but, I mean, it works, I guess. True. Can we just, can we just for a moment, acknowledge how true that is? This is a strange plot for a video game. Anyway. Okay, so here we are. Oh, she's talking to us. She can see us. Let's, oh, there she is. She's in the painting. I see it. That's where she's seeing us from. Boom. Dead. Boom. I win. Game <laughs> over. Boom, dead. Let's I see win. steps. Oh, a giant twirling golden puzzle piece. That looks good. Oh, it talks. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find picture with the piece of missing. Oh, he's a demanding one, isn't he? Wow. I've never been ordered by a golden puzzle piece before, but I mean, I guess there's a first time for everything. The wit on this kid. He's going places, you can tell. Alright, let's uh, go find this puzzle. Let's go up here. Uh, no. Well, I also don't like giving up, so I'm going to try and... True. You know, and this is the moment Little Kraken realized he doesn't like giving up. And that was really just kind of a pivotal moment for the rest of his life, you know. Isn't that just kind of beautiful to see? Wow. Andrea's almost here. And go up that slippery pathway for some reason. Oh, here we go. There's green grass over here. Maybe it's another happy vegetable land. It's a mountain. Okay. I can deal with that. And a gate. Okay, oh my god, look, it's a piece of a missing puzzle. So this is a voice filter, right? Uh, no, my man, this is a video from 2009. We're, we're juxtaposing my uh, early, 
early, early YouTube career from 13 years ago to nowadays as I turn 28 and drink rosé and eat Chuck E. Cheese. Um, you ever have one of those moments where you're like just suddenly struck with how weird your life is and how you got here? Yeah, I'm unironically like actively experiencing one of those. So, cool. I wonder if this is what the G was talking about. And Bottles is randomly telling us what we already know. I don't know where he is right now. I mean, he's like the witch. He can see us, but we can't see him. That's weird. Oh, I also figured out how to speed up their talking so I don't have to hear at all. So, I mean. I. I said that only because I started speeding it up at that point, and this is all pre-recorded. So I was like, oh, yes, by the way, I also realized this thing. <laughs> so I'm like pretending like I just found it. And if you want to listen to every little squeak, then you can go back and watch. But I mean, I get a little tired of it. Oh, we did it. We got Mumbo's Mountain First World. Oh, there's the witch again. I have lots of wit. That is what I oh, have wait. in oh. large amounts of. Okay, into yeah, Mumbo's no, no. Mountain. You're right. Sorry, I'm getting a little uh, off topic here. No, you're good. Continue, King. Okay, well, here we are. Mumbo's Mountain. Oh, what's that in the distance? Is that an Oompa Loompa? I mean, he's purple, and he has big n nose and long ears and leopard print underpants, so I mean, must be an Oompa Loompa. Ah! He's a mean Oompa Loompa. Let's show him what we do to Minu Palumpas around here. Falcon Punch, dead. He said Falcon Punch, not fucking punch. I, that's what I heard at least. I want to make it clear. I was not swearing. No, he drops honeycombs too. Huh. I guess that's the uh, form of currency in this world. Honey. Oh, I'm gonna get. You. Uh, uh, there we go. I'm a good fighter, aren't I? Okay, let's go explore. Boom. Ooh, what's this? I said boom a lot. More golden twirling objects. Should probably collect these. Musical twirling objects. Oh, what's... Oh, no. Another foreign Oompa Loompa. This one's blue. Well, I'm gonna take him down. Boom! Oh! Boom. Shane, Shane, I know you know what's coming, but you cannot. You, I, I refuse. Oh my god. Why is he flying? I can't get him. Oh, I rescued him. He's a nice Oompa Loompa. Well, that's good to see that not all Oompa Loompas are evil. If I had a nickel for every nice Oompa Loompa I saw, I'd probably have... One nickel. Well, I'm gonna go collect these twirling golden objects because they must be worth something. Probably more than a nickel. Ooh, over there looks looks like a bull. Okay. Um, before this happens, I just want to say, uh, when someone asked. What is the most uncomfortable moment of your life? I think this might be it. Um, I wanted to get a good recording of me encountering this bull. I remember this clearly. Encountering this bull for the first time. Because I remember when I was a kid, it scared me. But I'd never uh, recorded myself afraid before. And since this was all being recorded after the fact, I knew there was footage of me running away from the bull afraid. And I wanted to have proper audio uh, of me being afraid of the bull. And so I forced myself to... Uh, yell in fear of the bull as it was coming at me.
But it's worth mentioning, I'm 14. I live with my parents. Not like actively. That's not, I'm saying back then I did. I'm 14 and I did live with my parents. And so in this moment, I had to quietly scream and I and I was very care. I had, I had to cut it and then do like a take over and over again multiple times in order to hopefully get it just right. And it it's not just right. And in fact, I think it's the worst thing that I've ever um, put out there. But uh, I just wanted to preface this moment with that. And um, okay. Oh. Oh, but yeah, it's just me. Uh, uh, run away. Bulls are mean. It hasn't oh, that's yet. not very friendly of him. Well, just for that, I'm going to kill you and take your golden honeycombs. Because that's my occupation. Honeycomb grabber. No, that wasn't it, guys. That was not that bad. All right. Well, it gets worse. Uh, on to exploring. I think it happens later in the video. Here we have what appears to be Donkey Kong throwing oranges if it was, at If that us. was it, I'd be fine. Huh. Oh, he hit us. He's a good shot. Oh, I, I see what I'm doing here. I'm I'm getting him to hit the conveniently placed orange switches. Oh, and I picked up a Jiggy while... Three minutes. This. And this one talks too. And <laughs> look at his little picture. Looks like a spaz. Oh, Bottles, when will you leave us alone? Oh, over there, look, it's Diddy Kong. <laughs> okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm positive I said Diddy Kong. I said Diddy Kong. I don't... I don't think I knew what a titty was then, okay? I said Diddy Kong. I promise you, I did not... <laughs> Hello, little monkey. I'm gonna steal your orange. Oh my god, the orange talks too. And he thinks he's nice. It's kind of weird that oranges think that they're nice, but I mean, I guess you can be a cannibal orange. I have nothing against that. <laughs> what am there I talking go, about? <laughs> Chimpy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not fat, just big boned. Oh, you raise that stump half an inch. That's your way of helping us. I want my orange back. That was not... Not a good price. Fine. I'll take it. Improv King. Uh, another thing that I have to let you know is that YouTube's new law is that everything, every video has to now be 10 minutes long. And... Holy, holy shit, this was the beginning of the 10 minute meta where if you didn't make <laughs> 10 minute videos, you got completely downplayed. Oh my god, the new law has passed. And this level actually took me 30 minutes to beat. So I'm going to break it up into two parts and cut about 10 minutes out of it well, through editing. Hopefully it'll work out that way for all the levels, but if not, I'm going to be like... He thinks there's going to be more videos. No one tell him. Like two or three parts per level, so I mean, uh, yeah. Right now we're learning about um. Oh, <laughs> never finished that thought. Uh, um, Black Lodge Barista, thank you for the five gifted subs and constantly nutting with thirteen gifted subs. Man, Constance, you've been going hard tonight. Uh, I got food arriving in three minutes, by the way. So. Oh wait, shit. That means I, I'm gonna go put on the party music in the other room. All right, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll let this video play. Wow. We can fire eggs. Like, that's useful, I guess. An egg gun, also known as Kazooie. Oh, bottles. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, look at that. It's like a giant, oh, I could Park them too. Poop them out, I guess. Lay them. Wow, that's, um... I remember that really got me going when I was playing this when I was little. I was really excited that I could, uh, poop out eggs, but I mean... 
interesting stuff. Oh, there's a picture of Grunty. She has a lot of portraits everywhere. Good for her. Ah, uh, I failed there. And I called myself the Platforming King. Again. Ah, uh, looks like a pedestal of a stump. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's hinting that we hit him with an egg by saying he's safe. And now he knows he's not safe. That's clever. Oh, uh -huh. What? What I miss? What do I? What do I miss? <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't hear you over the party happening in the other room. <laughs> I don't think you guys can hear any of this, but there's. I I put on like. It's like a like a thirty second like drum and bass loop and just like like the sound of ambient talking with no clear words, and it's it's really fucking ominous. Um, what what are you guys talking about? Oh look at that. It's like a giant. Oh, I could fart for two. Poop them out, I guess. Lay them. Wow, that's um. I remember that really got me going when I was playing this when I was little. I was really excited that I could uh poop out eggs, but I mean. Hey, look. I don't know, man. Look, sometimes we say shit. <laughs> what do you mean got me going? <laughs> look. At 14, none of this was sexual, okay? I had not discovered sex yet. I didn't know the context of sex. Look, I'm, I'm about to leave you guys and go back to the party in the other room. And you do now? All right, fine, Spot. Look, I'm just putting together the context clues, all right? And everyone's freaking out, so I'm just trying to react accordingly. What was this? Where am I? How do I get back to the video? Oh! No. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that was another fail. If anyone was uh, paying attention to that, just ignore my bad platforming. I'll take you out, Conga. Bring it. Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, I think the delivery is about to be here. God, what do I say? Guys, I'm about to be given my terrible, terrible Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Hold on. You can't hear what I'm listening to, so I'm going to put it on in the background of this video. Hold on. This is literally what's playing on playing on the in my room right now. This is this is the video. Isn't this fucking terrifying? It's just playing on my TV. <laughs> it's playing on my TV. I'm gonna walk in and just. I can't believe I'm doing this. I need to finish my.
It's not even a good loop. You can hear it breaking up. I can't hear the door knock over the fucking ambient party. <laughs> this is what life in COVID is like. This is what we must resort to for our birthdays. <laughs> What is a lady keeps saying awe in this? Wait. No, 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 no. I like look for her. Okay, I will let her know it's my birthday if it comes up naturally in conversation, okay? But I'm not gonna like bring it up, you know? How weird would that be? Okay, I'm gonna text. Having any trouble finding place? It's like a chill text, right? Come on, you guys, I'm, I'm, I need your help here, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I opened the door. And uh yeah, she was just holding all this. Um She's like probably like my age <laughs> and uh had like dyed hair and everything and <laughs> she like hands it over to me and i'm like thanks i'm having a birthday party <laughs> and she, she she was like as as, <laughs> as I said that, she like looked past me into the empty room with the music playing and just started walking. Like she, she just 180'd and just was walking and was like, ha ha, oh, like, oh, okay. Or, or, like she, she was like trying to play it off, but she was like, 
I'm fucking out of here. Like, she was leaving so quickly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that was maybe the worst. That was maybe the worst one interaction I've had with a single other person. Um. Aww. <laughs> Stop! This fucking loop sucks! Okay, alright. Let's look at all of the goodies I have here. Alright, number one. The fuck is that? put this a pool of grease will form and I I'm, it's like my workspace you know I'm like <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want this here all right um oh this is the rain hey you guys ready for some rainbow churros It's a, it's a little green. Um, that one's a little blue. That one's a little red. Just like a unicorn. <laughs> okay. Uh... So, I was given four of these, like, <laughs> stop! I was given four of these white containers and one pizza, like, box. And I was like, oh, okay, the pizza's gonna be in the pizza box, right? No, the pizza is a personal pizza, so it's it's the size of one of these. Um, this, is the, this is the pizza. That's all the toppings on it. Just kind of... I don't know if you can tell where anything begins or ends, but it's just kind of a... Yeah, she drove an hour for that. This is, this is 32 bucks, by the way. A $32 pizza. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to visualize this.
That's the big fucking cookie. They put the cookie in the pizza box. Not the actual pizza. And you know what? They forgot my cotton candy. <laughs> After all that, there is no cotton candy. I paid $80 for this birthday dinner. And all I get is a cold fucking cookie in a pizza box. Are you kidding me, Chuck E. Cheese? Consider this a declaration of war. Chuck E. Cheese, I know you stream on Twitch. Give me my birthday back. I wasted my best years, my 28th birthday on this. At least I have my... Chicken. Do you guys mind if I eat real quick? I'm kind of hungry and I have nothing else going on right now, so. It's pretty cold. How are you guys coping with the whole pandemic thing? You guys all right? I've been doing great. I started this thing where I started ordering from Chuck E. Cheese and then paying the delivery driver like a $50 tip. You know, it's little things. Break of uh, thank you if I give the subs. Did Andrea give you a happy birthday? She might have said happy birthday, but she was halfway down the hall when she said it, so I didn't really hear. I said it's a birthday party. She said, oh, okay. <laughs> and then she fucking ran away from me. <laughs> oh shit. Aww. We hit the sub goal? Mr. Meeseeks. Thank you for the gifted subs.
Chuck E. Cheese subbed? No way. I want proof. Where is he? We hit the goal. Give us a new one. I have like a fucking inch of grease on my fingers right now. So, you know, give me a minute. are stressing me out. Well, this is my birthday party, man. These are my friends. I don't know what to tell you. Amorphous Blob over there. Amorphous Blob over there. And all Lady. Those are my homies, man. If you don't like them, you don't like me. And there's the door. You can't see it, but I am pointing at my door. All right, do we want to try this pizza? This is the this is the personal pizza you guys had me put thirty dollars worth of toppings on. It looks really bad. I think I see six olives, and they're like a like a like a piece of an olive, like this. Six of these, and they charge me three bucks. Here comes the airplane. This is the size of the slice. It's smaller than one of my fingers. This is the saddest pizza I've ever had, even if it wasn't my birthday. If it was a normal day, this would be the saddest pizza I've ever had. But this is the saddest pizza I've ever had on my birthday.
I feel like I'm at the food table in the corner of a party and everyone's like having fun over there and talking and I'm just like trying to eat the food as fast as possible because it's free but in this case it wasn't free it was like 80 bucks so Bring the cotton candy. He puts in a support ticket. Hello, Uber Eats. Andrea has my cotton candy. Connect me to her now. No, I wouldn't do that. Mr. Anderson, I believe you got my birthday cotton candy. Please receive it to my apartment or be expecting a complaint in the mail. Until then, I will snack on my tiny cold pizza slices. starting to feel this loop some cold pizza come on take it bro i don't want it i hate it i'm gonna puke yo i hate this so much i really don't want it but everything else i have is just sugar like this is the only substance that has come with my order I have this and the giant bread fucking pile. 
I already ate all of the wings. I, the wings are gone. Mac Kitty Mac with the gifted sub, yo! You and me, you want to split this tiny piece of pizza? It's the size of half of my finger. Ready? This cost me eight bucks. Now you. You could, okay. Yo, Brindley Bronco man, thank you for the gift of this well. Yo, do we got a hype train in here? <laughs> woo, woo. Is this my 20th birthday or is this a hype train? <laughs> Stop with the ah! Uh, I fucking Jacqueline over there awing at my fucking birthday. Let me celebrate my way, okay? Shine cookie. All right, you know what? For you, G Mark, I'm gonna put away my delicious pizza. Just reminding everyone how fucking vile it is. I'm gonna go wash my hands because they're literally caked in grease. <laughs> Stop! And then I'll take out the giant cookie. Gooby dooby the hip for the sun. Alright. Hype train. Enjoy the party without me, dude. Whatever. As soon as I got up, I heard the same sound, like the same soundtrack is coming from my living room. And I heard, ah, as soon as I got up. It's really horrible. I put it on in there for you guys, although you can't even hear it. Why am I still playing it out there? I'm not out there to turn it off. I'm just leaving it. All right, who wants some of the giant warm cookie that's no longer warm? It is so much grease already just kind of soaked through this fucking... Ugh. This is literally larger than the pizza that I just ate. It's actually larger. And it cost a third. 
a third of the price. It looks like it's cut, but it's not. They just did like a little bit of it. It's frisbee. Is it warm? No. Is there a way I can get money off for this? Can I like say it wasn't advertised correctly? This was told it was a it's a warm soft cookie and it's cold and hard and not cut. But I also don't think they were intending to sell it to a 28-year-old man on his birthday. Alone, so you know who 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 foots the bill there. Where's the cotton candy? I'm afraid they forgot the cotton candy, guys. How loud that was. This thing weighs a bunch. Putting away the cookie. I have this much left to eat. Finished the wings. Um, the pizza is done. I don't want any more. Then there's this red. <laughs> I don't know when, what, uh, how to eat this, or why, or when. It's just kind of like overcooked bread, cheesy bread.
Tastes like cardboard. churros baby this is when my birthday really kicks in are you ready to everything else this is a delicacy it's literally just dough and sugar but baby that's that's all I need churro from Chuck E. Cheese. The blue tastes like blue. The green tastes like green. This is the most dynamic dessert I've had from this place. It doesn't say much because so far everything has been terrible. The artificial flavoring they have for each of these different sugar pieces feels like it's different. That's the unicorn to me, man. 8 out of 10. Chuck E. Cheese an hour away and at midnight I arrive and we do a fucking IRL stream in the ball pit of Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> it becomes fucking Five Nights at Freddy's you would get arrested this is fair I received my option Body's already starting to fight me. It's telling me that we had better options.
by a ball pit. We made that the 10k sub goal. I buy a ball pit for my apartment and I make my apartment is the new Chuck E. Cheese. I gotta leave the last churro. I don't think I should have any more. I leave it in respect to Chuck E. Cheese, who uh, produces genuinely some of the worst food I've had in the last decade. You know. Glad to help that small business out with my massive order of like half olives. I, what did I even get with that? That pizza was smaller than the fucking cookie and it cost 40 bucks. And I'm feeling the sugar actively hit my system. It's 11 p.m. My legs are bouncing. I feel like I'm 14 again. Maybe that was the whole point of the stream. Huh. All right, I'm gonna go put this away from me in a different room so I don't think about it. Um, You know what? If we get 45 more subs, I'm opening a, another bottle of wine. We go from half tilt to full tilt. I'm on the precipice right now. I'll get some water too. Water's fine. I'm, I'll, I'll get some water right now. I'm fine. I just had this much in human food. There is no way I can be too drunk now. After all this sustenance is in my body, no freaking way.
my god. My room smells like a fucking Chuck E. Cheese! I had forgotten this smell until now. Okay, the party's starting to wind down. I just, I just drank a, uh, like a cup of water. Ugh. And I could feel the water, like, washing, rushing. Ugh. I can feel the water washing away the, like, the salt and sugar. And I'm like suddenly aware of how much sugar I just consumed. And I'm like, this is what a unicorn churro is. Let's get back to the stream, shall we? <clears throat> Next goal, let's see, we're 41 subs away pretty much. Another bottle of Weinkin. I will say, these aren't full bottles. I was going to show you, but I, I think I moved it to the other room. So it's not here. So you got to take my word for it. But they're not like full bottles. They're like two-thirds bottles. So this is basically a bottle and a half. Um... I still hear the awe. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. So for this next part, well, okay, we're, we're going to watch the last part of uh, of this series. You, you're going to see the, the thrilling conclusion of where the Banjo-Kazooie series lies. Um, and then we will make the fourth part on stream live. Oh, I think it starts with the part that I'm most embarrassed by. So, I don't know if Shane's still here, but um, 0 020. Shane, what, how do you have it memorized? This link is private. You don't have access to it anymore. How do you know when it is? What at Sumi Ninja? Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. He has his own copy. You know what? He probably did download a copy. Oh, that's a breach of trust. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's see it. Okay. Please give me enough subs so I can have another bottle of wine. I'm actually going to need to be that drunk for this. I'm not even kidding. This is actually a, a cry for help to make me more drunk. Not, It's not even a, like, I need to get sober. I'm like, I need, I need to get more drunk for this. Look at him just munching on that grass. Munch on this. Go, my eggs. Attack. Die. 
I have killed him. He has been slain. I'm vic- oh, oh my god, no! Okay. Is this worth it? Was Shane right? I'll show you. That's the timestamp. He said 20 seconds in. We're at 19. Trey gifting the last five subs. Do I get the wine now or afterwards? Mr. B6 gifting five. My entertainment gifting five. Now? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> no, no. Ah, 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 ah. Right, so as you can tell, I'm not really the best screamer, but, um, welcome to Banjo Kazooie Part 3. Oh my, that's a giant ant. Hello, Mr. Giant Ant. I'm assuming you're back. Yeah. It just cuts out. Yeah, no, it's uh I dropped a, a hard fade on that on that scream because I I didn't know how long I needed it to last for and I it was my first time recording anything in post for audio wise and I was like I guess I screamed too long and I I didn't think it fit the the clip so I wanted to make a quick dip, quick duck, if you will, on the audio. And just kind of made it more um, abrupt and awkward, and yeah, that that that's probably the worst cut I've ever done. But I'm 14, and you can't judge me for it. So I'm sharing it. Cards are on the table, open, laid out. Yes, we can. All right, fine. Send me your home videos of you when you're 14, and I'm gonna I'll fucking 
I'm going to write a, 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 a harshly worded letter and send it to your parents, and they'll be like, oh, my God, you got freaking owned. Okay? They don't exist. Oh, well, that's too bad. Sorry to hear it. Uncle Chester, thank you for the five gifted subs. My, my great uncle, everyone. Okay. Um, no, let's not go. Let's not go clipping that. Come on, guys. Let's, let's be cool. All right. We got the rest of this video to get through, okay? Bad guy, because you have giant eyes and a mean smile, so I'm going to punch you. God, just stop talking. Sorry, that's mean. Just grow into the man you're meant to be. All right? Get ready. Here comes the hurt. Bang. Oh, he's a tough one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hurting time. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. He just exploded. Ant killing spree time. Let's go. Wait, what is this song I'm playing? And then what, what is that from? Does anyone know? It might have been Ramstein. Ramstein? Exploded. Ant killing spree time. Let's go. You think it was Red Alert? I, I decided to start adding more editing into this was the episode where I was like, all right, I'll add some flair into it, you know, I'll make I'll make it exciting. And that's what I listen to every time I explode ants in a cartoon game. Ooh, an Oompa Loompa. Dead. I'll explode you as well. You can tell he's getting a little more comfortable. You know, this kid's like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let loose a little bit. I'm gonna get a little uh I'm gonna get a little wacky with my commentary here. Little musical notes on houses. That's normal. Hello, bottles. What will you teach us today? The Beak Buster. Send Kazooie slamming down on the floor. Sounds like fun. Mm. Oh, I get it. Beak Buster. Destroy the houses. Oh, and we get money for it, too. This is illegal on so many levels, but... Fun, so who cares? Bang! Ooh, this one had a family of eggs living in it. A They're family of eggs? What does that mean? Oh my god, an Oompa Loompa lived in that house. Sorry, bud. Goodbye. Boom. Ooh, a green Oompa Loompa. Probably should start calling them by their actual names, but it's just so hard for me. Ooh, a statue of myself. What a freak who ever kept that in his house. True! Damn! I'm, I'm fucking... He's on top of his game today. Idolizing me. And, oh, oh. That's what I was waiting for. Golden jiggies. Oh, Kazooie, why are you eating these jiggies? We need them. And why are they tasty? They're made out of gold. I don't think that's good for you to eat. Ugh, whatever. What's this? We Juju, Mamo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Huh. Wonder what that means. Go, stones! Feed Mamo's totem pole. Wow, he likes that, doesn't he? Spinny, spinny, spinny. Golden honeycomb. Eat that. Like that. Oh, I fail at aiming. There we go. Fail. Go. Fail. Yeah. Golden everything in this game. There goes Kazooie again. She's got to chill out. What's this? Another Jiggy? I feel like I'm just like being handed these now. It's not a challenge anymore. Alright, where to? Ooh, I don't really want to go into the giant skull yet. Let's, uh... Explore a bit more. Uh, we haven't been up here yet. Okay. 
And it's like a... Oh, another slippy slope. Shut up, bottles. But you couldn't go any faster. Oh my god. Talon trot. Okay. Hey look, there's a jiggy in the background. Fancy that. Whoa, Banjo! There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Thanks, Bottles, for the enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, I found eggs. I'm sneaky. There we go. All right. Money, money, money. And a little silver skull down there. I'm just collecting those because anything that's spinning appears to be good. So True. I'll just collect all that. And more money. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door. Spell. Wow, Waddles is like really psyched about everything I'm doing. I mean, he's like my number one cheerleader in this. True! Alright, now for some extreme platforming. I had to cut this video to 10 minutes long, so I sped this up like 300%. Enjoy the super fast note collecting. Are you guys enjoying it? But, as you can see there, I can't go down that steep slope, so this game lied to me. Oh, and look at this, I'm, I'm about to juke out this, uh, this Oompa Loompa. I mean, that's an awful tax strategy he has. He's like, I'm gonna chase you with my arms outstretched. And when I catch you, I'll hopefully do damage. Preach! It's like, really? Why don't you just find, like, a stone or some sort of wooden stick that you can throw at me? Oh, there we go. We collected oh. all the, uh, pink Oompa Loompas and colorful ones. I mean, ones. I'm not got wrong, right? Extra jiggy. So now we have nine, because these are just everywhere in this level. One more. Literally, Kraken now to your humor. Come on, guys. Like, I have I think I've learned a thing or two in, like, the last 13 years. Come on. Yeah, humor is cyclical, you know? you. A good joke takes time, and then it, it wraps around, and, like, you guys love repetition, if if I was doing the same jokes I'm doing here, I think they would hit harder than anything new that I would be able to come up with, you know. It's the same but refined. Well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So and ten more notes. I think it's time we go inside the giant tower of moss. Oh, hey, I'm not ugly. I'm a bear. What do you expect? Don't hey, this is Ticker's Tower me. Ticker's Tower this. Any, any sec- Uh, there we go. Ticker's Tower that. Get him. You're dead because of what you said to me. Now I'll platform this place. Oh. More slippery slopes. I'm really getting tired of sliding. You know what? That's okay. I'm sure there's a reason for all these steep slopes. Maybe there were some irrigation problems earlier in the level. <laughs> Wait! Is that an irrigation joke from 14 year old me? Bro, how fucking smart was I? Whoa! I bet you guys are fucking reeling. I, I literally just pulled out irrigation. I pulled out aqueducts and bullshit, like the fucking, like Fertile Crescent. I, I, I've been in history class. I know irrigation's important and it leads to like weird shapes, like mud and dirt structures. Dude, smart kid. I think it's time we go visit the giant skull house. Uh oh, I'm scared. All right, well, you know, he had his moments. Just kidding, not really. Ah! <laughs> skeleton man. And he has money. Hello. You're a mumbo. And apparently you have awful grammar. And he insults 
bird. Okay. I don't want to see your mighty mumbo magic. I'm just gonna take your money. Eat that, mumbo. Alright, fine, let's see what you can do. Use your mighty mumbo magic on me. Really? You turned me into an ant. That's like a billion times worse on the food chain than a bear. True! Really, Mumbo? Wait, nope. Never mind, guys. I'm a termite. That means I can eat wood. And that means I'm better than an ant in every way. So, that's okay, Mumbo. Thanks for the, uh, the help. I'm gonna go pay a little trip to Ticker's Tower and show them how termite I am. Let's see if I can climb these slopes. Owned. Termite platforming power. Out of my way. Where did I get those shorts? At the toilet store. Owned. Okay. Clearly I had just seen Iron, like, fucking Anchorman, okay? And that was the height of comedy of that era. You know, I just got to explain where some of these jokes came from because they might not uh, hit for some of the newcomers. Like the Sputs of the chat, uh, who probably never seen this movie or heard of that movie, at the time that was like the top comedy um, for many people, you know. So, anyway, just saying. I found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thanks, Bottles. That really made my day. I, you know what? My self-esteem is so much higher because Bottles thinks I did a good job. I mean, I'm really proud of myself now. Yeah, screw you, too. Damn. Platforming. I think that's the meanest Here we I go. Goodness. Tower time, and there's another statue of me. Don't know how that got up, up there. And there's the last Jiggy. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Ah! Oh, God. Crow, come on. Come on, you did it on purpose. Oh, you did it on purpose. You did it on purpose. I want to make a public apology video um, for my Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part Three. I feed Mumbo's totem pole um, at uh, about the nine minutes twenty second mark. I fell off Mumbo's mountain, um, but I uh, I meant to actually fall off. I thought it would be funnier. And if I just done it right the first try, and um, I'm sorry that I'm sorry to my fans that were misled. Um, that's not what I want to be anymore. I want to be a funny YouTuber and Twitch streamer, and I want my content to be real. So. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, and uh, I've learned a lot in the 13 years uh, since this video. Um, you know, you can learn a lot in a little amount of time, um, and you can learn a lot in a lot amount of time. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Oh, God, fail. Uh. <laughs> uh. Huh, well that was pretty embarrassing, and that took a lot longer than it should have, but... I mean, let's slowly cross there. And 10th Jiggy, here we go. Yes. Victorious music. I love it. Arix, thank you for the raid. Welcome, buddy.
Um, welcome to my birthday stream. We're about 30 minutes away from my 28th birthday, and uh, we're looking at the most embarrassing old videos I have, um, which is a Banjo-Kazooie playthrough. I made a promise years ago that I would continue this playthrough and make a part four. Got to part three um, back in uh, March of 2009. And so here I am finishing that uh, that promise. We're gonna make a part four right now. Um, we're just seeing where we left off, you know? So thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. All right, let's get out of this level. I love it how the termite sinks when Banjo floats. Check out that Oompa Loompa, and I'm out of here. Wow, it really cuts on, on exiting the, uh, the frame. You know? So, we have our work cut out for us. <sighs> the next part of this, uh, we need to exit and then immediately uh, the video starts, okay? So, um, from here on out, I can talk to you guys, but the audio we're going to use for this video is all going to come from the game. So, and I'm going to turn off any other visuals that aren't the game. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to say goodbye now and I'll see you on the other side. This is all, this is important footage now that we're making. So we can't, um, sell it with any, uh, graphics. The video is being started. I need to focus very hard. So first of all, we're gonna go back in here so we can get you know the footage of us exiting. Okay, so for continuity. I'm gonna, I, all right, so we're gonna record that part, and then I'm gonna do a scream there for the bull, just like the last time. And now we're gonna try to get up here. We're gonna slip. Look at the camera. Okay, good. Like that. And then I actually didn't mean to do that. We're gonna walk up here. Another bull. That's that's good. We can make content out of that. Fall down. Look up. It's okay. This is all good. This is all good content. All right now we get up here. Um, see the bull. Bull's chasing us. You know we can get a good scream moment here. Oh, I actually died. That's rough. Um, I can make that. I can make that funny. I think. Um, all right, now we're going this way. Uh, we're gonna run away from the bull again. Um, we're gonna run back up. Uh, sorry if I, if I'm not emoting enough, but I'm really focusing on getting good game capture. Uh, okay, we get here. Uh, bottles. There's no door. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think there's anything we can make fun of there. Uh, okay. We're getting hit in the cutscene. Hopefully it doesn't play a role in <laughs> whatever happens next. Um, okay, things are okay. Okay. That's funny. We can, we can do something about that. That's good. That's a good bit. Uh, now we're arriving this next part. Um, oh, we see the next thing. Oh, right here. oh, but I need to like react to this first. Okay, so I'm gonna be like, who's that? Okay, let's nice your sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat 
Your tag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, and as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear that. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. Banjo, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. So dumb? Then how am I going to solve this? Sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's commentary I should do after the fact. Ooh, good one. No, I can't. I'm not. Guys, I I have to not be making live commentary. It has to be post. You, you have to understand. If I do it live, then it's not going to work. I have to save the jokes for the voiceover. Exactly. If it's funny, then we have to write it down. Fail. Ah, don't say that. Just think it. Okay, what do we see here? A lot of things. Okay, flies over. Now we go into here. Here we go. Treasure Trove Cove. Which actually has one of the parts that genuinely scared me as a kid. And now I've got to try to recreate it as an adult. Luckily, I don't have to do the audio now. I'll just do it later. But I'm going to try to get the fish. And then I, get, I see this and I get scared. Make sure that I yell about that later. Oh, I got hit by a crab. Um, that's probably a joke later, too. Ah, oh, it's gonna be hard to forget. I need to remember all these jokes. Okay. See that animation speed up? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, okay? Um, Alright, we're gonna try that again. go something like that we'll, we'll put it in the commentary wow this is a lot bigger on the inside uh, uh oh um <clears throat> Uh, my computer just started, uh, heating up. 
You know, you're always one bad joke away from uh, a bad time. Um, hmm. Is there a way I can salvage this? Oh no. You know, is that going to cause a problem in the continuity of this episode? That's what I want to know. Fix it in post. Let's see when when's the next save. Okay. It, uh, it seems actually like it wasn't that far. Make up a story to justify the crash. Um. Mom walked in my room. Um, No, I, I, I can make that work. I can make that work. You ready to go? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We already got all those pieces in there. All right, we're still recording, but I'm going to cut all this part out. Um, so, you know, it's a fine. It's It's whatever. So we made it in the shell. This is where we pick it back up. It's bigger here than on the outside. I'm gonna say something like, wow, it's a party in here, huh? If you hear me say any of these things, it's just a note for in post, okay? I'm not actually saying it for now. Okay, now we take it back out. And now I'm gonna make some comment about how a crab living inside another crab, what does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna I'm saving that again for post. How did I get here? Shit, that's too close to what it's actually going to sound like. <gasps> Who's crying? Shit. A mummy. Hi. Hi. All right, now I'm gonna make some comments saying you about the burp voices. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I'm gonna go in here. Oh, that wasn't where I thought it was. Another great moment. Definitely had that in post. Skeleton here. Good, good clip, good clip. It's clippable. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I know some of you may be confused on what's going on without the commentary, but I'm just trying to get the perfect video footage and then I can make the commentary afterwards. Right? And now I'm going to say something like, you can, you, you can book, you can book, uh, you can, you can book. You can book them. Yeah, like that. I'd be like, I don't know what to do in here. I'm gonna leave. And that'll lead us to the next scene, which is perfect, which is coming out of the shell. And I'll be like, what? How did that happen? Something doesn't seem right. Okay, great, good. how many different like loading screens there are on this level actually this is gonna be hard where the hell okay has it been 10 minutes i don't know man i look can end it here. This is like a potential ending spot. When you're making YouTube videos, you're always looking for the end spot, you know. This is one of them. You're like, wow, our adventure is just getting started. I'll see you on the next part. And then I just never have to make that part, you know. Um, or I'll say, I wonder what's in here. And then it'll load me somewhere completely different. And I'll say, back here again. And then I can cut there. You know, we got we got options. Were there enough funny moments though? I don't know if there's enough. I might have to do more. I say something like, "Oh, how am I? Gonna, I need to get. I need to get down there." somewhere else. Oh, it's normal actually. I'm getting, I'm, I'm just getting plenty of shots where I can be like, all right, and that's the end of my story, you know. Okay, I'll do one of these. Get over here. Okay, okay, okay. Good. 
get there for that. Alright, now we gotta get to that one. for the screen. Okay, okay. Over here. This is a bit. What's a grave doing here? I gotta hide in this chest. Oh no! And that's where we call it. All right, great. We found our ending. Woof, okay. Now, do we cut the rest of it tonight or do we save it for tomorrow? We have to do the voice commentary and we have to actually edit it. Tomorrow? Yeah, let's make it tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we make the video. And we're going to make it perfect. And then we'll have completed our task. And no one can tell me I didn't finish the Banjo Kazooie playthrough. I mean, it's only going to be four parts, not. Oof. Well, I guess we'll call it there for tonight then, huh? Did you guys did you guys enjoy the stream? I had a great time, you know. Thank you for spending this uh this birthday with me. I mean, today tomorrow's my actual birthday. Um but this was a a great celebration. And um, <laughs> see you in fourteen years. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the next part is. Um, but I'm glad you guys all stuck with me. Thank you for all the subs. It was very generous. I am. I actually feel ill, not from the alcohol. I know what it's like to be, you know, drunk. I feel ill from the f Chuck E. Cheese, man. That that shit really fucked my system. I've been eating healthy for like several months. And that hit me like a truck. Wow. God, that was awful. Um. <laughs> Not going to wait 11 minutes for birthday? Okay, you guys want to wait 11 minutes for the birthday? We can wait. We can wait those 11 minutes. I'll celebrate with you guys. Here, let me make sure I save. Okay. You want an old an old Kraken video to, to wrap it up? Uh let's see. What do you guys want? An 
oldie but a goodie. Cow chop. Those weren't even my videos. I just I was in, I was appearing in them. Uh, man, I don't really have. <laughs> this isn't exactly an oldie. I don't know why this popped up for me, but... Wait, on. Wait, what is the description? The game, don't be fucking bad. It just said, don't be fucking noob. Is it when we did the Warcraft 3... Lord of the Rings map. Anyone Samwise? <laughs> no, you are Samwise. I'm Samwise? <laughs> no! Frodo! Give me your load, Frodo! Wait, Frodo's, up. Frodo's ran off. Guys, Frodo's ran off. Frodo! Frodo! He literally has the ring. We have to stay with him. Frodo! I'll never leave you, Frodo! I made a promise! What's out? There's a goblin. Holy shit! Frodo! Frodo, what did you do? Guys, I'm going to mortar. Just put him down. No, Frodo. Frodo! Frodo! Sam, did you eat my bread? No, no, no Mr. Frodo, I have it right here. He's gone. There's nothing we could have done. Wait, Mr. Frodo, come over here. Come over here. Mr. Frodo. You ate my bread. No, I didn't. Oh, I, I just ate it by accident. <laughs> you ate the bread. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to, Mr. Frodo. I have some lemon ah, for you, Mr. Frodo. He's killing me. I need to eat the lemon bread. You had more bread, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry, Mr. Frodo. I'm gonna get it once again. No! We're tied fucking 20 minutes early. 20 minutes earlier. Mother of God, what could happen next? It's a cave troll! It's a cave troll! I have a cave troll. Ow! 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 Frodo, I'm never going to leave you, Mr. Frodo! Get the hell away from me. If I don't have any bread right now, I'll be fine. I ate all the bread, Mr. Frodo. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, let's heal. Let's heal before we go in. The bridge ahead of us! Uh -oh. The bridge of Gaza. I got Doom. this, guys. You hang back. Gandalf. Oh shit. No, wait. wait we need Gandalf. To Gandalf. No. Gandalf. Wait, oh my wait. God! Wait, actually, he attacked the dog with him. No. He just died and dropped Lembus bread. We could have just gone around it. I'm gonna die. Run, run, run. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I can. Get everybody across that bridge. Okay, go, go, go. Mr. Everyone. Frodo. Whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Whoa, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> get in! Get in! You're Mr. Frodo! No! I'm gonna get the ring, I'm gonna get the ring! We can't! Fuck! We can't get in! Ba 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 This is the entire movies? Yes. All right. Oh my god, those hobbies are so What happened to Sam? His face looks melted. Which one am I? I'm Sam. I'm Sam and Legolas. I'm Sam Gamgee. Look at me. Let's go. Where are we going? Everyone behind me. Lots of... What? 
Proto, if you want, I can carry the ring for a small while. Boromir, give him some space. It's like five so minutes, Boromir. Get the fuck off, Boromir. He's trying to help. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm by oh. your side, Mr. Frodo. I'll never leave you. This is the best RP. Thank you, Sam. He said, don't you ever leave him, Sam. My CMG, and I don't intend to. I don't mean to, Mr. Frodo. Sam Weiss, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> You heard him, everyone. Mr. Frodo says we go through the mines, so we will. Come it's back. a dead end, and it's there's so Sauron oh, is like oh. clearly visible. Oh, oh shit, Sauron is up there. What is he doing? Yeah, we gotta go. You gotta solve the riddle, Frodo. Uh, maybe it's like you speak friend in Elvish. No, you little shit. Ah. <laughs> oh! 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 Get him! It's all right, we're oh fine. fuck! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Yay! Oh, it's that... Enter the oh. mines! It's... This party. Come on, hobbits, let's go! Wailing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. Hey. I just watch it. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey. We were sorry! Oh, jeez, all right, all right, Boromir, chill out. Guys, guys, look. I found a, I found a, a tomb over here. Oh, the Lord! Uh-oh, the cave trolls are mute to magic. I can't do anything. Falling back may have been a mistake. Aragorn's having a bad time. Someone help Aragorn. Aragorn. To the bridge. Why? Why do you want to go the there, Gandalf? Run, the oh, they're already here! They're, they're in a corner! We gotta go through them! We gotta go through! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Run, get to the bridge! <laughs> no! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Kill the guy! Go! 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 Wait, behind you, Gandalf! There's a goblin! <laughs> you cannot pass! Gandalf! From his face! <laughs> 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 Gandalf! Gandalf! <laughs> Wielder of the flame of our north. Dark fire will not avail you. Flame of, flame of old Loon! You shall not pass! Did you not hear your cereal bowl there? What was that? Yeah. Oh! No! 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 This is crazy! Oh my god, he's actually fighting him on the mountain! Wait, this list watch. I'll see you in movie two! We have to mourn him! I'll see you in movie two! Sam, it's gonna be okay! Where's Mr. Frodo? I promised him I would never leave you, Mr. Frodo, and I don't intend to! I don't mean to! You just walked by me! You just walked by me! Oh wait, oh sorry Mr. Frodo, I didn't, I didn't, I thought you were the other one. Go game. I sure hope Boromir doesn't betray us. I I'd never betrayed anybody in my whole we life. Really Wait, what? Oh! Oh! oh, oh. This is a big fucking oh, hammer. No. <laughs> Frodo, I swore to protect you. Oh, we are gone. I must go away alone. Why would he say that? Enemies are coming. Run now, Frodo. Run. I with you, Mr. Frodo. Oh, we must room. stop them. Frodo, we have to fucking go. Frodo, how do we leave? The hobbits need to leave! I think all of us- I don't know! I don't know how to leave! Really Frodo! Man. Give me the ring for like a second! I'm, I'm gonna die! Just keep running in circles, Mr. Frodo! I'm going with you! Oh, Sam. <laughs> well, I guess it's just you and me now, Mr. Frodo. What's up, Sam? I- I said I wouldn't leave you and I don't intend to! It's cool, it's cool. Look at this, it's a wine yard! <laughs> A, a, a vineyard? Okay, come on. It's been my first time out of the little fucking shack house. I just thought you were more cultured than that, Frodo. I love the hour and a half of the movie where we just fought orcs in the mountains. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, will you help me find this instead of taking all the loot? Mr. Frodo, there's something over there. What the? <gasps> Ooh. Gross. <laughs> oh, oh my god. He's kicking my Watch out, Mr. Frodo. Wow, they're at Helm's Deep and it's like so much fucking cooler than what we're doing. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> shit. What the fuck? Mr. Frodo, I want to go back. Our journey pays off. You're right, we have the most important one. But really doesn't seem like it when we're just fighting a bunch of ghosts. You got a girlfriend or anything back home? Why'd you come with me? Um, no, not really. Oh shit, Mr. Frodo! Damn. 
<laughs> we have to go up. <laughs> Come on. Where'd Smeagol go? Wait, it's my birthday Come now. On. Hey. Oh, thank you guys. Wow. Watching uh, my old videos on my birthday. What a, a vain thing to do. But no, I. <laughs> it's really fun watching stuff from like, you know, not too far past with all my friends. So. You know, it's nice. It's nice doing that with all you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, thanks for being here for, but during my birthday. I'm glad we could uh, celebrate it together. I'll. I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna finish that Banjo Kazooie video. Okay. The plan is tomorrow to do a short stream where we finish the video. And maybe do something else. I'm not really sure, but kind of a you know a hangout stream like this one where we just kind of shoot the shit and do some fun stuff. So, hope you guys liked it. Um. Another XCOM with stripping. Well, uh, some of the sub goals that I have not added yet that will be added tomorrow uh, may involve some stuff like that. So who knows? But um, yeah. Oh, he he ran off. I'll never call him in this. Back. We'll just get to the end of this video. Yeah. I brought you. Which is still one of the most. I think the funniest moments on stream with a group of people like with context, it's one of the funniest moments I've captured on stream without context. It's hard to sell. So I don't know if it's going to hit as well for you guys, but we played through this entire Lord of the Rings map, which was all of the movies and took like three hours and at the, and it's all one continuous map. So no one died. No one failed. Otherwise the map would have been over a gardener. Wait, wait, I can't help you. And just like the actual Lord of the Rings, you get to the very end, and it's just Sam and Frodo at Mount Doom. I'm going to use it a few more times. No, don't. And uh, Frodo, which is played by Bed, has the ability to use the ring to turn invisible. And every time he does, it, there's a chance that calls the Witch King of Angmar to kill him. Don't, Mr. Frodo. They already killed the Witch King. Just let me use it a few times. I hardly got to use it on the way here. Come on, Mr. Frodo. We're at this very last bit. So this is it, huh? This is it, Mr. Frodo. What are you waiting for, Frodo? Go drop it. The pig is mine. No! <gasps> oh, I'll defend you till the end of time. I'm gonna use the ring. You can find him. Oh, he's fucking. Oh, that's the witch king. Oh. The witch king. Oh. It's the fucking witch king. Oh, oh my god, oh. we're gonna fucking die here. We're gonna fucking die here. Why is the witch king still alive? They didn't do their fucking job. Oh my god, dude, he's fucking killing me. I'm gonna die, Sam. <laughs> no, I told you not to use the ring. Everyone's gonna be so mad. Bro. Take him, bro. <laughs> See him. See him. Oh my god, I summoned another fucking dragon. There's two witch kings. Come on, Frodo. Oh, let's. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All of our friends joined the voice call after a three hour campaign to yell at us for fucking it up in the final moment. Oh man, I miss these days. In a nutshell, this game came out in September of 1991, and it's a game. This was where five years ago, in, and all the players are playing no, against four. a guy that. This was four years ago. Appears on the screen and tells you to do shit or screams at you, and by the end of the hour, if you haven't beaten the game, he wins. When do we say yes, my gatekeeper? He if he you. calls your number, your color, or oh. catches you just before you have a turn. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be any louder. I am the gatekeeper. <laughs> if you fail to answer yes, my gatekeeper, when I call your number or color, you will be punished. <laughs> answer me, you maggot. <gasps> yes, my gatekeeper. <laughs> yes, my gatekeeper. Yes. The one who holds the highest number. Answer me. Oh. Yes, my gatekeeper. You will be the first. To roll the dice. Go, 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 Sam. 
Go, 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 go. Before he comes back. Who's about to roll the dice? Yes, gatekeeper, yes! If you fail to answer yes, my gatekeeper in time, you must There's roll a, a six before you can play again. Oh. He didn't say yes, my gatekeeper. I want to point that out. He said he didn't say yes, gatekeeper. He said yes, gatekeeper. Yes. He was yawning. I want each of you to take a turn to roll the dice. Let's start with Kraken Man, What are you waiting for, okay. huh? Oh, uh. Gmite, you get to roll a dice. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, We're, we'll, we'll call it there, but... Dude, whenever I, I have one of these, like, nostalgic trips where we go back and we watch old videos, it's crazy how much, like, history there is on the internet of, like, me and my friends, you know? I'm really lucky that I've been doing this for so long um, and that people can, like, we can just go back and watch all these, like, moments, you know? Like, every once in a while you go back and you're like, yeah, this was, like, a a fundamental, like, de developmental part of my life, you know? It's really neat. Hey, Ruby, or Blair, good to see you. And Shane. Happy birthday, Shane. Can we get a happy birthday for Shane? He and I have the same birthday. So, please wish him a happy birthday. Okay. I am going... To wrap it up here, but I'm planning to do a short stream tomorrow, short birthday stream, um, and I'll see you guys then if you want to. Um, other than that, we'll be back with more stuff soon. So thank you for all the subs and the gifts and everything. Uh, I'll have more different sub goals and whatever uh, for tomorrow's stream. I'm sending you guys over to Octopimp in the meantime. Do I play D&D uh, &D or uh, Myriad with, rather, every Saturday? Uh, so we did that before the stream today, which is really neat. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I had a really good time. And, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you want to hang out. But if you have a cozy rest of your night, have a good weekend. And I'll see you then. Okay. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.